broke something. I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. Are you excited for another episode of the Rod Guns? Yay! Yay! We're back uh -oh. on the suffering. Throw a flashbang. <laughs> 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 no. And we welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of the Rot Goons. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good to have everyone back. We've been away for an entire month. For an entire <laughs> month. We took a we took a holiday break, so we're gonna be crusty or so. Um yeah. do, do forgive us and such. Uh before we get into it in the announcements of things, I want to introduce the amazing people bringing you Rot Goons today, starting left from right, starting with Minerva. Hello, everybody. It's good to see everyone after the break. I hope everyone had a great holiday. Uh, my name is Minerva, aka Party Demoness, over on Twitch. I am a variety streamer and VTuber, and uh, I play Bray Crocus, the Null Ranger. I'm very happy to be back. And next up, we have the Evo Ghostly, the Ever Dead Cabal. <laughs> the on the outside and the inside hi everybody i'm cabal i'm your favorite frightening caffeinated cult leader here on the terrifying petrifying purple platform of twitch.tv i am a artist a you know horror enthusiast and a bit of a voice actor <laughs> and i play the uh ghostly magus of the sparkly targe school uh talim shabura and uh, and next up we have our resident small guy, Froggy Lock, playing his beetle. Oh, good time zone, everybody. Hi, yeah, I'm Froggy or Beetle or B or Beetles above, and uh, I'm a professional artist and a variety streamer. And um... yeah, yeah, that's it. You can <laughs> yeah, add yeah. more criminal to and, the end of uh, it to cap it off. And, uh, I like that. Let's do that. And, uh, Beetles above, officially war criminal. <laughs> States. <laughs> Over to you, Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Hart, who's hopefully not wanted in seven states. Hello, my name is Salty Job, and I am Swedish. I uh, typically do funny art over at Twitter. Uh, uh, you can find me at Salty Job both on Twitter and here on Twitch. Um, I play Hart. Uh, he's a big dude, and he uh, he flicks uh, people on the forehead, and it concaves their brain. Um, <laughs> and he's that. only wanted. He's only wanted in three states. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. And I, who, and I, who, as I like to tell myself in the mirror, is wanted by everyone. I'm your game master, Zoran the Bear. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate you. I hate it here. <laughs> Froggy over here, like, I'm biting you. I'm biting you. I'm biting you. <laughs> I'm biting you. I hate you. I hate you. Bacho, bacho. I'm stabbing. I'm stabbing. Perfect. I'm stabbing. I'm eviscerating. I am your game master and host of Narrative Declaration, Zoran the Bear, and I'll be leading the our resident goons to the adventure today. Now, we have been across a break. A little bit and a lot of things have been happening mm. you could check out our youtube channel for stuff and uh, twitter and all the whole a lot of things about development we won't touch on that during the show but things are happening and first i'd like to say for everyone thank you for supporting us and sticking with us and stuff and coming over to the new narrative declaration twitch channel where this is now being live streamed first so if you're listening on podcast or you are uh watching on youtube and stuff um just in case you haven't heard the news we're on a new twitch channel over at twitch channel uh, twitch.tv forward slash narrative declaration. But of course, um, with the adventure that we had last, one thing I mentioned, or I thought was going to be a fun thing that we can do, is uh, see who remembers after the long break of, of what occurred. And I'm going to raise the stakes. I'm going to raise the stakes of it a little bit. It, I had to reset our hero points and stuff here, which are the bars down below. If you're on the Twitch channel, you can just scroll down or go to the about section on the uh, on the app if you're listening on the app um, and see what the bars do. Unfortunately, my bots are broken right now on this channel, so you can't activate them to get the information. So my bad on that. But um, 
basically what I'm going to now ask the players, who remembers what happened last time? I want to give a recap, and whoever gets it majority right gets two hero points. But if you mess up or mess up a major detail, you don't get those points, and I get one villain point. Uh. <laughs> well, it was nice knowing y'all. Great game. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. So uh, are we doing this in quiz format, or do you want me to go narrator? Uh, one Piece opening. Uh, one, uh, go, I... go narrator. <laughs> and, and, and to remind people who are giving bits right now, you need to hashtag uh, the character's yes. name. Um other thing all of it is explained down below so be sure to put that hashtag it will automatically go in so i've been noticed some people have been trying to give stuff to uh the beetle and not put the hashtag so just make sure just make sure but go ahead beetle if you if you want to take the shot and risk it all what happened last episodes i'm not gonna let you down where we last left off the group went and dropped their haul off at holics again to set out with free hands they went deeper into the sewer and encountered a chamber growing with rot, fighting little rot flies and then one big giant motherfucker rot fly. <laughs> <laughs> the, the room was then burned, looted, and they continued onward, creeping through the sewer until suddenly, not suddenly, it was probably growing if I'm being honest with you, like you could probably hear it quietly and then it grew. They heard this melancholy song following it they met Charles, who they helped prepare for a date to reignite his love with the shambling mass no. that we are so <laughs> lucky to not have encountered in the freaking sewer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, we received a trinket from Charles after helping him out and uh, also some tasty bits. But as soon as Charles left to have his date, something happened with the trinket and it consumed all our awareness i think you've what... earned yourself yes! two hero points yes! nice oh, <laughs> I was, as i was go. going through i'm like god i hope he doesn't ask what monster type charles was because i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, the, i should have asked i got a good villain points <laughs> I like someone in, in chat said streamer luck. <laughs> well, that, that's not luck. That's the skill right there. That's streamer skill. <laughs> is that what it is? All right. How dare well. you? <laughs> but but that is correct. Uh, that is correct. You guys have um, have left the sewers at this point. Uh, gathered up all the hunts that you did that, of the hunting location that you got from Gipik. You got over at Elma's. Um, you suspect that you need to return to Elma's, uh, to kind of, you know, drop off what you have, hand it off to them so they can kind of keep it together. Set the scene a little bit. <laughs> so this excellent piece of art. You guys have exited from the sewers and are now kind of on your way back. Uh, on your way back, I would like to ask, uh, Ask everybody what they're doing or what their inner monologue is. Really, what have, what have they been thinking about as after they left the sewers and stuff? So, kind of start from left and right of uh, for Gray. What has Gray been thinking of this adventure? You've now stuck with these people that you've done some quests with and stuff, and now you have all this food, food and stuff. What what's Gray thinking of? Maybe some inner monologue. I think. Minerva is having an issue. She said her audio oh, okay. just died in the in the. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll change then. So Cabal for Talim, right. uh, what are oh, you? No. What is Talim thinking as you're now just floating along, traveling back over to Elmas? I activated Zorin's trap card. Yeah. Also, um, I think your so, uh, avatar isn't even a thing. I don't know if you're. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, I figured out what it is. My iPhone isn't connected with my VTube studio for some reason. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta go to connection yeah. settings. But yeah, we can figure it out during the break. So you'll just stare into the abyss for now. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so. In character. Uh, yeah. <laughs> perfect. Um. Uh. So Talim has been going on this entire adventure, and while there has been some treasure to find, it hasn't been the most um, profitable venture. So he's 
looking at like various things that uh that they have all found and particularly that he has found um in their time together and he's kind of mulling over the idea of um using his skills to uh, figure out ways to replicate replicate said things or figure out how to create his own things to sell because it's looking like so far that uh they're doing a lot of um they're doing a lot of work for oh <laughs> I got you. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're doing a lot of work that for... wasn't working either, so I fixed it. Yeah, we're doing a lot of work for not a lot of profit so far. Um, and so he's been kind of like uh, tinkering with like, you know, like the uh, looking over the that, uh, that sword that he found, um, kind of fumbling around with the, uh, what is it, the Wand of Magic Missile that he has, and uh, kind of just planning for the future, but also thinking about what opportunities this could potentially lead into and uh, i'll be completely honest he's he doesn't seem like he's that hopeful you know like oh we're gonna run a side cart that's great um <laughs> but uh but as you go through, you you know that you've felt a lot more powerful lately because uh you've advanced to level three along with everybody else that's right uh did you take anything for your character once you uh leveled up to level three well, you see, one of the reasons <laughs> that Delina's been f fiddling around with um, this magic sword or this wand of magic missile is uh, because he thinks he's figured out how to craft magical items himself. <laughs> I took the craft magic item feat. <laughs> and so, so it begins. And so it begins. <laughs> Don't hit on the magical monopoly. That's right. So so much stuff. <laughs> on the note right. of capitalism, as we're walking, Beetle has two notes that he picked up in the sewer that he's he's very fixated on. He's got the absolutely shredded note with nothing discernible on it that he found that emerald in. Uh, that's from someone whose name starts with a T. And that's not a lot to go off of at all. So he's got that one, and he looks at it, and he kind of stuffs it back away. And then he pulls out the other note, which uh, was found on the body that was behind the big bot fly in that room that we cleansed with fire. Yes. And the note says something about finding the corner and cleansing it. And it's from a guy named Croc. So Beetle, after giving this note a second look, is gonna look up at the party, and he'll be like, "I, I, I wonder if we just did somebody else's job because I, I found this on that corpse back there in the sewer in that room with all the bugs." I mean, it seems like there have been multiple people going down and looking for treasure or profit in some way. So, more than likely. Yeah, Beetle's gonna flap the note around, and uh, I, I wonder if if we if we find this Croc guy, if we told him that we we did what he asked to be done, I, I wonder if he would think we killed his buddies or if he would reward us. Well, well hear me, hear me out, dude. You're pretty smart. You can probably figure out if he's the type of dude to do that. You are pretty good at finding details. I think we look like some people who would go down to the sewer and find somebody else doing some work and kill them and take their job. I don't think we look like that. I, I think we look like we have to pawn. What? <laughs> Salim squints his eyes a little bit. He's like, it is the pawn spalaster, so I don't think people would be too upset as long as the job gets done. A job's a job. So we could maybe, when we get back to Helma and Thelma's, maybe they know where we can find this croc guy. Worth a shot. If there's profit to be made. Hearts? As you guys yeah. are, as you're walking with your companions, what what is Hearts' inner monologues as they are, you all walking back to Elm? 
Uh, he's extremely proud of himself uh, that he has uh, been able to venture into the depths of a dangerous place and he has come out with uh, delicious food for we all know the things that lurk in the most rancid of places for some reason taste the greatest uh, example crab example clams uh, <laughs> and therefore uh, he is super freaking happy uh, with his bounty and he's going to have to tell his dad about this good and Gray Gray have any inner, inner monologues you guys are uh, walking through uh, her inner monologue at this current time she is currently thinking about uh, the fact that she I don't think she can trust T anymore uh, after her <laughs> her little run in with uh with that special T from Holly. Uh -huh. uh, also, her They're head hurts Holly. because she kept she kept bumping into things after that. Uh, also, the fact that she's just really happy to be out of a really stinky situation to begin with. Her nose is not happy. As you all she have been thinking amongst yourselves and heading through the ponds, Pilaster and Elset, um... Y'all become y'all begin as you guys are journeying forward, you start to hear struggling a little bit. You start to hear it going ah, 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 in a loud thunk further up ahead. And uh you see that there's one individual uh who seems to be struggling uh to lift barrels and so you see that he's sweating sweating in his brow, he's kinda wiping it through, kinda load up into a cart. And um he looks at he looks at all of you coming in, going like Hey, I, uh, I, I, I don't want to bother any of you, but, but could any of you help me out here? I have to do it before the boss gets mad at me. Oh, I have oh, to get all these barrels Yeah, in. okay. Yeah, sure. I think we'll just stand there floating. <laughs> <laughs> there, was no, uh, there was no opportunity here. <laughs> he, just, he just folds his arms behind his back and he's like, well... If you're all feeling charitable, I will uh, gladly watch. Dude, you gotta lift. Dude, you gotta lift with your back. Uh, no, what? If you got a strong enough back, you can lift your anything with your back. But for lift you, with your knees, you your know, knees. You gotta lift with your back, dude. Use the arch of your back in a twisting, jerky motion. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. Beetle stuffs the notes away and he goes up to a barrel and uh, he tries to lift with his back. <laughs> Fact you could show us. Is it here? You see, you see an you see an individual in front, of you and he seems awfully tired. You see, he's probably been here for a while, or maybe traversing this area for a good bit, and um, art of him. Hand it over. It's gonna look a bit crusty because mm -hmm, my mm -hmm, mm -hmm. didn't take the right thing, but Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> This individual, Rick, he come, this individual that you see, he'll kind of walk up to you all and be like, Oh, I appreciate the help. I, if I don't get this in, like, it's, I'm not going to be able to get paid enough if I don't get this in. You will get all this beer in time. Uh, the name's Brug. It's nice to meet you all. And you'll extend a hand to any of you. Did you say bear, dude? Uh, heart holds out the hand. It's like, uh, he says, like, uh, the beer, beer is what I said. And he'll grab yeah, his yeah. hand and like and shake it and be all like, I, I greatly appreciate it. Like, I'm, I'm behind, I'm behind my quota, and I'm gonna get this out of the warehouse as quick as possible. Oh, you look like shit. We'll help. <laughs> <laughs> when he says the uh, when he says the warehouse, does he does he motion to? I'm guessing it's the uh, the building that he is next to. Yeah, he motions to a building that's behind him. Uh, okay, like Jaleem will like float around and uh, like uh, like you know casually just like look down the alleyway or, and like look at the uh, the wagon and it's like, does this look like he's robbing this place? <laughs> <laughs> you that you can make that uh, type of perspective with a perception check. Yeah, you know, in comparison that we use perception checks here, and so there's no insight in Pathfinder Second Edition, so. I see nothing. <laughs> you rolled a two. I rolled a a two. Die. Seems legit. This guy's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems, yeah, it seems legit. All right, whatever. 
Uh, with the not going to help. I'm literally incorporeal. <laughs> Yeah, you, what do you think this guy is a saint in comparison to anything else you've seen here in Outset? This guy seems super genuine, super worried that if he doesn't get this in time, that he he, he seems that he's going to be in great trouble. Hey, bro, what kind of beer are you loading up here? I'm a bit of a drinks connoisseur myself. Well, well we have Serpent's Tongue, and we also have Barley Roll uh, in several of the barrels here. Mm. Like Barley Roll's a Barley Roll's a croc favorite. Here, let's go ahead and get this one over here if you don't mind. He'll kind of mint, he'll kind of motion down and uh, start pulling one of the barrels that kind of been like pre-brought out and start hugging it back. Like, yeah, I need help. If you can help get the other end, they can load it into the cart. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll help him out. I'll come out over. Cool. Yeah, this here, is, I got it. This thing is heavy, gray. This thing is absurdly heavy. You, knowing are you that this sure this are, is booze? This, like, you are quite surprised that there are barrels already inside this cart. The graphic doesn't have it, but there, there's several of them inside already. And you're like, how did this guy bring this up here by himself? So for you to help him, I would like you to roll me an athletic strike. Okie dokie. That is a... <laughs> Seven with 11 total. <laughs> it's like, as you're trying to lift the other, I'm like, come on, come on, use your legs a little bit more. Just, just, uh, you, know, oh, he, uh, you see, he's been very tired doing this and you don't make any headway. And he's like, I, I just like, look, I, I don't want you to get hurt. I'm like, I, I don't want you to get hurt and, and hurt your back or anything. Like, can someone else help out? Well, they are doing uh, that. Hart has been given Beetle this look of, did he say croc? <laughs> Uh, Beetle, wait, does, does Hart say that to Beetle? No, he points at, uh, be, uh he okay. points at the, uh, this, um, uh, uh, this short man that has just been, like, walking down this alleyway with, um, with Grey. And when they did that, Hart pointed at him and looked back at, uh, Beetle like, hey, like, and he didn't say anything. Yeah. He just gave the look of, In like, hey. Beetle did not pick up on it at all. He's currently in front of a barrel, like hugging it bodily and kind of shimmying, but not moving <laughs> it at all. Like he's just kind of like, <laughs> like his, his entire head is vertical with his snout going up the barrel. It's just plastered <laughs> to the side. He's like, <laughs> so when Hart points at him, he kind of gives Hart this look like, why aren't you helping you fucking asshole? <laughs> Wait, is Hart carrying the uh the, the bag with all the um yeah, like the ingredients Hart's and stuff in it? Their food, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll uh Talib will like come up to Hart and be like, if you would like to help, I can I can hold the bag. Oh thanks, bud. <laughs> and he unchains the you know, remember the fact that it, uh Hart looted one of the massive fucking chests? in the sewer uh, yeah. he, he just unchains it from his sh from his chest like a big ass backpack and just dunks it down onto the street you know just in case <laughs> anyone runs away with it and he, he walks uh, over and, and picks up beetle and puts him on his shoulder let's go help them oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's what i'm trying to do did you um did you, uh, just to make sure did you try to like hand the bag over to talim he puts the okay. no no uh he, okay, okay. Hart has a chest if you remember Hart okay, took okay. I'll, a I'll, chest I was making sure on the details I thought it would be really funny you try to hand to Liam be like oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> oh, just oh yeah, no, oh, oh, yeah no, <laughs> no he uh, he just holds out this sh massive chest and just drops it in front of Talim and then walks away <laughs> <laughs> what is the bulk on this chest a lot a lot <laughs> <laughs> Lot. A, without a, without a number, I can do all the math. It's, it's a lie. It's it's well, it's an okay. issue. Uh, but yeah, but hard. You kind of you're you're helping out with the barrels and stuff. Yeah, like Great just looks on tired. <laughs> she, so Hart, she's thousand yard staring, just staring. Hearts we will sit beetle. on the chest. <laughs> yeah. Hearts and beetle. Roll me an athletics check. Mm. Okay. Oh boy, I'm helping! <laughs> Sitting on Hart's shoulders. I rolled a 19 for a total of 30. I 
rolled an 18. Beetle, it is so efficient, or Hart is so efficient with it that Hart didn't really need you. You're just basically hanging off the side at this point. <laughs> just dangling. You're just like, I'm helpful. And then... I do things. Yeah, Beetle puffs and flexes his little arm muscles as he's dangling, so he feels like he's helping. Dude, 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 hear, hear me out, bro. You look a bit yoked. What? Yoked, you know, you, you, you're putting on muscle, dude. I am? Yeah, dude, stronger than before. Really? You think yeah. I weigh more? At least a pound more. Oh my God, that's really insane. That's yeah, insane. dude. Dude, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Brody. Thanks, bro. Did you grow your hair by lifting barrels like these? No, I was born with it. Oh. <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, well, maybe, maybe as I get more yoked like you, maybe it'll just explode out of my head one day. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 because you were born yoked, right? Yeah, for real. For for real, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if I become yoked, then I'll look. I'll have. Uh, I'll have mermaid hair too. Uh, I ain't a mermaid, bro. But thanks. You got mermaid hair. That's a compliment. <laughs> as, as they are like, as they are walking by, things like, and maybe one day I will return to the land of the living. <laughs> <laughs> well, really? You can do that? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty neat. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Just as likely as Beetle growing some hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, you guys help out and, and fill up the cart, and I think that Brug will come out to you. All he's like, you know, he's sweating and stuff, and he's like, oh, thank you so much for helping me. I, I, I don't know how to thank you all. I, I, actually, uh, you, you can take a sample if you want. I, I got some tankards in the uh, cart if you want a want some barley roll. Oh. It's like here, let me get you all a drink, and you'll see that he'll oh. head over to the uh to the cart and rotate one of the um one of the barrels over to the side and whoop, let one out and he has several tankards that he can just kind of start passing to y'all, just shoves it in front of y'all. Oh, thank you so much. You can tell just just naturally that he he really means it. He's so glad that you guys have arrived to help him out. Yeah, no, yeah, no problem. Of course, Gray is, you. Gray is cautiously sniffing the drink after last time. Her, her <laughs> record with drinks at this rate is not great. <laughs> uh, if you want to, you want to sniff it in case there's anything you think that's wrong with it. Um, we can have you roll some if you want. Sure. Okay, you can roll your perception. You just want to get a good old sniff. A sniff. A little sniffle snort. With an Damn. 18 for a 24 total. Good. You you smell it? It smells great. Like it, it smells like really good beer. Yep, down the hatch it goes. Or he just drinks it. <laughs> <laughs> Unceremoniously, just ugly face, just dog tongue lapping. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is so good after being in the sewer. Thanks, Heart guy! Heart drinks it, then he crunches the tankard on his forehead. <laughs> like, I, I, but, but I, I gotta give those back. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. He picks up, he picks up the tankard and he like <laughs> cr cracks it back out oh and, and puts it back. He just uncrushes it. <laughs> Sticks his hand in it like a Pringle can and just flexes his fingers out. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> thank, you, thank you all so much. And uh, can, can I get your names? Can I get your names at all? Well, my name is Gray. Uh, this is Talim. The little guy over there Talim is Beetle. waves as he sits on the chest. Yeah, Talim didn't do anything. Don't thank him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was more and uh, the big, the big lad there. That's that's hard. Yeah, my name is Long, so p people call me hard. <laughs> He's like, like, I, I can't thank you enough, but if I could ask for a favor, I really need to get this um, over the Crocs as soon or else I'm not going to get paid. So if, uh, 
You can help me get this cart there. Uh, my other guy's supposed to be here, but I haven't seen him since he went down the alleyways. But I, I really takes, need this. He spit takes over Hart's head. Did you say croc? Yeah, yeah, I had to get all the I had to get all these barrels to Crocs Den. It's it's you know, it's a it, you know of Crocs Den, right? Are you new here? I know about Croc and Beetle's gonna fumble with his cup and his pants. Oh wait, he's not wearing pants. Uh fumble with his cup <laughs> and his shirt. <laughs> Fumbles with non existent pants. <laughs> yeah, he just pats his fucking legs like he's patting pockets. <laughs> and he finds the note and he holds it up. We found this down in the shore! And he'll, he'll kind of like reach over Hart's head to try and pass the note down to the guy. Uh, he's like, ah. Uh, he kind of takes it, looks at it, and surrounds. It's like, well, I, you know, I, I can't make much of it. I mean, it, I, I would assume it's from them. Oh. Might be a work order. Yeah! Oh, you can't. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, it was found on the corpse. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and it's pretty messed up. And it, it's pretty messed up. Like, so he, he kind of looks at it and he's kind of like, uh, I, I don't know. You know, he, he doesn't know much about it. Yeah. But it's like, but no, that, that does look like it's from Crocs. Okay. And then Beetle will reach for it back. Then he hands it back to you. He gives it back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just stuffs it away in his fanny pack. He's like, okay, well, yeah, let's go to Crocs. And he big yeah. drums Hart's shoulders. Uh, shouldn't we bring back the meat, you know, so it doesn't spoil? It's not gonna spoil. We're just going real quick. Just real quick. What if we get, what if we get, we did the work. And then he starts drumming on Hart's forehead. He pulls his hair aside, revealing his eyes and drums on his forehead and leans over, <laughs> snooting his face. Uh, what if we get paid? What if we get paid? I mean, I mean, I mean, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell him, man, you, you're the business guy. You're the business guy. Ha ha ha. And hard starts to sweat. <laughs> he will like lean back. He like leans back on the, uh, on the chest. He's got one hand like on the chest. Um, cause this entire time he's been focusing on it to turn it incorporeal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh he's like well you know a little bit of side profit never helps and i don't think the meat will go that bad as long as we're punctual yeah pretty sure a little spoiled meat wasn't the worst thing the people here have eaten it's not gonna spoil it's fresh from the sewer you it's could fresh. call it aged <laughs> yeah ah. yeah aged. Ah. yeah we'll, we'll help you take those barrels down to crocs yeah Heart taps his temple. So smart. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. Um, if one of you can help me pull and the others push, and uh, one of them can uh, try to make sure any of the barrels don't fall out. Oh yeah, I can. I can pull it. Oh yeah, so, he's got this. God, uh, if you guys want to position yourselves and. Uh... Mm, 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 People mm, will climb mm, off mm, heart yeah. when heart passes the cart, and Beetle will climb into the cart. Yeah, you see, Brug will uh, also help you out, Hart, by by pulling the cart, and I assume everybody else can just kind of make sure by either pushing or making sure the cart nothing spills out. Yep. <laughs> As to leave behind, sitting on the chest. Hi, <laughs> 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 Celine. Celine just gets up. It's now a ghostly chest. He just like whoop. He just picks it up and floats <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> So, as you guys continue... For the audience, you guys begin to pull and push the cart down uh, the pond's blasters, winding, terribly maintained roads. Brog will kind of look over um, at Hart, and so it's like, I don't see a lot of friendly, friendly anybody. Here of the ponds for lassos, only painful I can think of. Just no, 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 dude. You just need to look at the right places. There's a lot of people who are willing to share alcohol with other people. It's like, yeah, that usually gets me, uh, gets me opportunities here. And outside, it's been hard. Uh, guys, have any loved ones? Any anybody you're taking care of? No, I ain't got a home. All of my children are grown. Yeah, it's like Kaleem I, floating in the background looking like Jacob Marley. <laughs> it's just like, I'm dead. <laughs> Beetle yeah, shoves yeah. his nose out of you the You sure are, like, buddy. <laughs> Beetle shoves his 
like a chest a chained to his back. He's like, I've got 12 <laughs> sisters. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of surprised. Like, he's like, wait, wait, he's dead? And he stops for a minute, looks into me. <laughs> I thought it was just like a weird thing. Like, what? No, yeah, he, he's not. Dude, 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 dude. He leans down towards Grog and goes, he's a wizard. Oh, wizard stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was worried, I was worried you guys were haunted. And he picks so back he just like raises a finger in the background. And he just gives up. He's like, no, nah, nah, it's, <laughs> screw it. It's not worth it. <laughs> Beetle kind of whaps uh, Brug's bicep as, he, as he's tugging. And he goes, Four of my sisters are single, and my mom wants them to not be. <laughs> <laughs> do you do it like an <laughs> eyebrow? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> you know, he, he winks at Brug, nudge him. <laughs> Brug, 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 Brug like, we'll, we'll kind of tap your little your little hand away. He goes like, I, I appreciate it, but I've, 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 I've I'm done with love. The only one I, oh. only one I take care of now is it's, it's my little girl. Her, mother, very you know, her mother's the last one I think I'll love. Uh, Fair, it, enough. Uh, Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. And as he's coming through, it's like, oh, and uh, it, it just save me of a trip. Do any of you have any healing potions? Anything of any ailments? Anything that helps with disease? Heart, heart holds out his. you straight up. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I can't take that right now. But I, uh, hopefully, if I get paid when we drop this off at Crocs, I can, I can, I can pay for your potion. Oh yeah. Is it? Is it for your? Is it? Is your? Is your daughter okay? Oh, she's very sick. It's I'm doing all Take these it. side jobs to. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing all these side <laughs> jobs to try to, to try to, to help for her. Uh, help, for, help pay for her medicine. Oh, dude! Points at Beetle. He can help. Oh! <laughs> Beetle's eyes pop open wide. He points at himself. <gasps> I know medicine. <laughs> <laughs> You're a doctor. He got the medic archetype. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> he looks up grinning. He's like, I was going to tell you to take the potion. I forgot. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Leave just in the background. Like, <sighs> yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> How have we lived this long? How? How? <laughs> he looks doctor. over at Gray's like, speak for yourself. <laughs> I am. I am. Pure skill. Hart <laughs> smiles and gives a thumbs up back to the team. <laughs> oh. was like, well, let me, uh, let, let's try to finish this job first and I'll try to yeah! share what they pay me. And, uh, you guys have any more questions for Brug? Uh, how, how long was it? That, how long, how long ago did, uh, did, uh, I don't, I don't mean to make anybody upset or anything. I'm just curious. Please don't feel pressured to answer. But uh, how how long have you been by yourself with your your girl? When did when did her mom? Uh... Oh, she's uh, she'll turn five, five and a uh, couple moons, and um, her, and actually her mother um, uh, on an expedition further down here. Here in the ponds, Belaster, there's plenty of ruins down below, and finding interesting trinkets brings in ah. a lot of money. But she was a delver. Um, mm. She didn't come back. Oh. Been gone. She's been missing for a year now. I'm so sorry. It's, well, sorry. it's life, it's just, life oh. here in Offset. I wouldn't have tried to hook you up with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's a little late for that. <laughs> <laughs> Tlaib like shakes his head. He's like, "The deep places hold many dangers. It's an unfortunate, da it's an unfortunate. Uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? I forgot the words. I forgot how to English. <laughs> Plastic feet it's to too late now. Paw. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're a strong man, dude. Keep it up. Uh, we will try to help as best as we can. Point looks back at the rest of the team with a look of like, right? Yeah. <laughs> Beetle nods. Live with your back. Silence. He says endearingly. Silent thumbs up. Like, uh, he'll not like, appreciate it. It's good to have kind strangers here and outside. They're very rare these days. And, um, with that, with, with that, punct with that punctuating, you'll be as time begins to pass forward and you still continue the uneven streets of the ponds, Palaster, you find yourself arriving at Crocs. 
more or less the back end of it. It's nothing quite to look at. The building itself seems to be closed. Shutters are closed. There's no one out and about. You've come into an off day or an off business day of it. Um, Rong will come up and you'll see that there's uh, like kind of like a basement double door thing in the back, which can which can open up to be very wide doors. But he can come up to it and knock pretty much as a doom, doom, da, da, doom, doom, doom. And you'll see after a couple moments later, um, a little goblin will come out and be like, hey, <laughs> ah, you finally got to ship me now. Ah, it's good of you, it's good of you. And, uh, hey, hey, who are these people? And then you'll see it's like, oh, they're, they're just helpers. They're just helpers. They're, they know nothing. He's like, ah, all right, all right. No, well, no. They got a, they got a rolling. Hey, all of you, you got a rolling. What? Um, we got a huh? <laughs> Roll the barrels down, and you'll uh, kind of mention that there's like a kind of track that kind of will, um, you believe, it kind of the barrels can kind of sit in, sit in sideways and roll down uh, into the basement door. Beetle scrambles uh. out of the car. Don't roll them yet. Don't roll them. Yet. I'm in here. <laughs> Gray, Gray is now on the side of the cart. She's like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to get run over by stuff today. I'm good. So, <laughs> so just, like uh, floats in the back, <laughs> looking like it should be like, Ebenezer screw. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got a chest chained to him. He's just like, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> uh, all right. So I have a question. How much do I owe you if I break any of the barrels? I got to Tell me, oh, tell me about um. Yeah, he takes out a little clipboard and, st 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 and, he, and he kind of takes out spectacles real quick. And they, well, if you break any of them or steal some of the product, ah, uh, you're gonna owe us about uh, um, uh, two hundred fifty gold. Hi, can you show me how to do it properly? Philippe <laughs> <laughs> just like like his neck just like cracks audibly as he slowly <laughs> looks at Hart and he's just like. <laughs> Talim is starting to buy. Is that a, is that a scam? <laughs> and say, well, you just lower it in and uh, and just put on the track and just let it roll down. The barrels will hold just fine. As I and in Brung in will interject, go, Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. And uh, you mm. see that Brung will kind of try to lower one down. Now that he's rested, he seems that it's very easy with his massive arms. Just, just poof, puts one down. He rolls a barrel in. And just lets it roll in. You just hear it just descend into darkness as it just goes down to the basement. You go, 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 go. It just kind of rolls yeah. under the building. It's but like, it sounds just like it in. just rolls. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, Hart picks one up, looks down at this little goblin creature and goes, Ha ha, it's pretty nice to help out with other people. Once, once, when I got into this town for the first time by the dock before I really know how to talk with people, I hadn't heard about money or anything before. He puts it down on the boards that he's supposed to roll it down. I was tricked by like five guys to give up all that I own. And uh, now I sleep on the street. <laughs> oh, and he puts it down on the board and look and, and looks down, checks the darkness. He can't see anything, but like trying to align it properly, looks For back at the, the goblin. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> but hey, but hey, dude, you know those guys—they ain't sleeping any anytime soon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Beetle laughs nervously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. I rolled a three for a total of an eight. <laughs> oh no! Oh. You begin to hear it, and he's like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey! Don't damage the product. What's wrong with you? Gotta roll it right. Gotta get in the middle. Got all off kiltered. You don't touch him anymore. You, you hurt product. Look. You're only good for smashing oh. things. It looks like. <laughs> Dude, that's hurtful." Hey, uh, while, while these guys are, are, you know, go, 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 owing the barrels, uh, I was wondering, see, uh, we've, we actually, we just finished some business down in the sewers, and, uh, we found some bodies down there, unfortunately, and, uh, I, I found this note, I think it's from Croc, and he, and Beale's gonna pull out the note and walk over to the goblin. Uh, work order, huh? Let me see that, let me see that. Hey. He kind of, you'll see the goblin will take the note 
look over at you, Beetle, and go like, ah, it's just a work order. It's, just, it's nothing you need to worry about. He'll roll it up and then put it in a in a back like belt loop, and be like, nah, nah, nothing you need to worry about. Just another just ca classic work order. Uh, you know, we well, get a lot of them nowadays. You know, a lot of big business mm -hmm. happening around. Oh uh, well, hold on though, because we completed the work order. Ah, I mean, nah, it's, 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 don't and, worry about anything. Hey, and, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. Next bow, bro. <laughs> would you like to <laughs> Would you like to do something to uh, diplomacy? Maybe intimidate, deception, anything like that? Can I grab the goblin by his shirt? <laughs> <laughs> With his newly gained invigorous strength. <laughs> Since Beatles now yoked AF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do uh, intimidation. <laughs> do intimidation. Oh my god. Do intimidation? How are you, yeah. how are you intimidating the <gasps> goblin? So, as the goblin's kind of like waffling, uh, Beetle grabs him by his shirt, and instead of pulling the goblin to him, he steps in because he's just a little guy. Mm -hmm. He's and gonna be he, around he, your height, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his snoot touches the goblin's nose and kind of bends a little bit, and he's like, We completed that work order. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you do have two hero points. I'll you do. Have two hero points. I'll use a hero point. Those at home. Uh, she, she rolled an eight. <laughs> I did. I did. I rolled an eight. Beetle's eyelids will like, like, peel back, and so his eyes are just bugging and huge and wild. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! That is yeah, significantly better. The seventeen, the, the goblin go. Hey, 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 look, 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 look! I just, you know, I had to, I had to double check. You know, I gotta go check some papers. But hey, if you said you completed it, uh, what exactly did you do? We we clenched the room. We were looking for food down there, and he'll let the goblin go. We were on another job, and we were looking for some some food for uh, Helma and Thelma. You know their place, and uh, we happened upon these bodies where we found the note. But it was this room full of rot. So yeah. we killed all the big rot flies, and then we lit the whole room on fire, and we we cleaned it. We cleaned it up. Yeah, just like it said on the note. We just got like rid it of the thing. Just like it said on the note. Ah, rot, huh? All right. Well, well, you know what? A job well done, would I say? Yeah. Here's 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 what we probably would have paid those folks. And he passes over to you, Tin Silver. What's in your Beetle hand? Squints. Just... <laughs> Halim's underground lore booms. <laughs> Alright, that's the proper I mean... payment for jobs like that. <laughs> I... <laughs> and silver. Can I do underworld lore to see if that is what a standard payment would be for <laughs> Dale Bruce and Cleaners? Alright, here we go. Come on, don't, don't whiff it. Don't whiff it. Oh, oh, oh. 23! You know what I just realized? What is that? My, I've been transferring all the other stuff to the overlay. My chat on this one is on still on the old channel. <laughs> I was wondering what the hell. Oh it's literally, it's literally so being you with the gun saying go live the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized it. I'm a moron. <laughs> you gotta love it. Let me uh, <laughs> just turn it off for now. Sorry, chat. Good job, buddy. I was wondering because there's all these people talking and stuff, and I'm like. <laughs> Huh. Why, oh, is it, I... why is the chat showing up on the, like, on the oh, screen? I'm a moron. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we've been away for a month, and I've been busy as heck. Uh, regardless, yeah, yeah. you rolled yeah, 23 you on Underworld right. War. And, uh, 23 in total. You you would know that that is highway robbery for the, that type of job. For for a lot of like just random jobs. Like, see, you know, gold is still a lot of money. Yeah, here. like it's like not everyone's carrying hundreds of gold. It's just simply if something's big money, it's it's there's in those hundreds and stuff. Um, for you, for something like a small job, for just a couple guys to come in, burn some rot, or maybe for something else, which you suspect they might be doing, uh, you're looking at like maybe like three, three or five gold for that type of job. You know, he he's trying to he's trying to cut Beetle out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Talim will kind of like hover around and, you know, like as and he's just like, ah, you know, this is, this is what it will, you know, what average costs. Like Talim pulls out an abacus and he's just like, he's like, 
and he starts flicking beads and he's just like he's like equipment rates travel rates danger rates uh skilled cleaners hazard pay, uh, hazard pay everything like that uh it was uh, like making sure that the job isn't revealed to other individuals he's like <laughs> I know that a job like that on the lower side would be something around the realm of three gold, but you know, we're entrepreneurs and generous individuals. What would you say if you were to do two as a thank you for a job well done? I got her. Ah, well, it seems you kind of know your stuff, huh? Mm. I've been around the darker places. I see, I see. I found a rat, I see. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Like, Talim, like, points to the arrows in his back and is like, yes, unfortunately, sometimes things don't work out. And deals go bad. Hey, hey, fellow entrepreneur to fellow entrepreneur. You know what? Two gold sounds fine. He'll up the total to be two gold, so you now have, you know, gathered two gold out of it. During this entire time, Brog has been offloading the rest of the barrels. And um, yeah. he finished the last Hart has, one. Hart, Hart has just been handing barrels to him instead. Yeah. And uh, he finishes like, it's all right. Uh, uh, that's the last shipment. I got everything out of the warehouse. He's like, ah, good, bro. Yes, for something. And here's your pay. And you'll see that he'll uh, hand him one gold. Oh. He's like, there. Gray looks at Talim. Get out of here. Gray looks at Talim. Is that, is that the proper amount? You have to realize, as adventurers and uh, entrepreneurs, we make far beyond what the normal folk do. But the, if the wares are 250 gold a barrel, and he saw them all here safely. For One the of the cheapest of things in the Pond's Master Beetle is the price of life. Is trying to convince the goblin in some way, or uh, no? Uh, okay. No, I it, like Talim is just like being an extremely pragmatic businessman yeah. and everything like that. Like he's saying it with like scorn in his voice, but mm-hmm. he's um he's like very just like honest about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's say, "Hi, bro. We'll call it. We'll we'll uh, we'll let you know. We'll send a we'll send a bird or a grepper if we need you. All right." So you got, right, thank you for your business. And you see that the goblin will come right down to the basement doors and close them behind him uh brung will look at the gold piece and sigh a little bit as he puts in a pouch and starts counting silver pieces and stuff um trying to divide the money and uh just trying to do math in his head uh Kaleem will actually go over and uh he'll put uh like he'll put like a ghostly hand like over brung's and like look at him and shake his head and be like you're a very hard worker brung I appreciate that. I feel as though your skills are wasted on such menial tasks. And I like this is like as they're walking away and everything yeah. like that. He's like, what would you say to more gainful future employment? Uh, he'll, uh, he'll look at you and like, well, I would I'd appreciate that. For the offer and stuff, but I, I, I still have a job to do tonight. But, um... But yeah, like I can. Is there anywhere I can meet you to think on it? And so uh, he'll look over at the. Uh, Talim will look over at the rest of the group and he'll be like, What do you all think? I like Brung. I think he has good spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Thick gains. Yo. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Talim will be like, We currently uh, make our dwelling at uh, Elma. What is it? Elma and Thelma's? Yeah. Yeah. Elma's. Like, at, yeah, at uh, at the Elmas, you can find us there, or at least find a way to contact us there more often. But also, before you go, hey Hart, give him the give him the give him the, give him the stuff. Oh yeah, dude, here you go. Uh, holds out healing potion. Oh, 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 and he immediately goes to his coin pouch to get like a you like a to scrounge up what he can, and he'll hand, and he'll kind of put his hand out. With like a gold and like filthy silver, it's like this is all it, I got it, for. Is that okay? It, 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 he puts his healing potion on top of the hand with all the money in it, and he, he smiles as he puts it down. He goes, "You need it more than I do, dude." And I'm sleeping on the street. <laughs> <laughs> See the he'll nod. Go, thank you. 
Just, just a simple nod as he puts everything. Back Heart gives out. him a Heart gives him a thumbs up and just, and just states, "Just remember that Heart's got your back." And that I'm a doctor. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe you should tell you know Beetle about what kind of problem your your daughter seems to have. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. See, I could uh, probably bring her over at some point. Yeah. And, um, see if you can help her out. The Elmas, was it? Yeah! Yes. Okay, I think I know where that is. Uh, I, I have By to get back to work. I have to get back to work. I'll, uh, nod, nod, nod. I'll catch you all around. Thank you so much for helping me out. Yeah. Thank you, dude. And uh, hey, you, see, you see that Brug will uh, we'll leave. He's like, I'll buy you all a drink. I assume <laughs> Elmas is a drinkery. And I'll keep you to that. <laughs> he and, will. Uh, you see that Brug will... Then depart, and you guys are now standing there near Crocs. At currently, uh, heart, you still have a bag turns, full of food. What you got? Heart like turns around. Heart turns around. And you hear, <laughs> and he starts. What? You see tears going down his face. He's such a good dad. <laughs> and Kaleem crosses his arm is like, and still a two gold profit. And a uh, two gold profit. We're so good. We're the best. <laughs> we are the something. Well, let's get our uh, aged meat over to Elvis. Oh yeah, we need to salt it, salt it quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Heart, fine, it's fine. Heart just shakes his head. The tears fly away, and he starts rumbling to himself, like in a different language, <laughs> which, which spices he should be using, and like, oh yeah, and then maybe I should do this. Gray got slapped with a stray tear, just right in the face. Just <laughs> <laughs> she speaks <All> right. low. <laughs> just doing that the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we are good. It's like it's like someone in the pocket is like, are they dying? Yeah, straight up yes. dying. Okay, so, all right, so with that, uh, what would you guys like to do? You guys still have a chest and all that stuff full of uh, full of your game that you guys yes, hunted down. Do. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. I think we're going to Elma's. Yeah, yeah. I should probably yeah. get that dropped off. Float along. Properly taken care of. Right, Scrap guys... stuff from Holic. Just thanks, bye. <laughs> no problem. All right, you guys <laughs> head over to Elma's, I assume. Yeah. Mm. All right, you guys uh, begin the journey your way back. You're not impeded at all. On your way I'm back, nice. no one try... yeah, no one tries to give you the good old London special and stab you. They um. <laughs> Damn. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that are you saying are you saying that London is real in time? Jesus technically is real no matter considering how many times we've said it. It's yeah, we all we all we all know about we all know about Jesus. He's like a sorcerer, but you know whatever. Sorcerer Jesus, he very good at what he does. <laughs> we keep trying to put him down, it keeps coming back. We're gonna need a bigger rock. Yeah, you know, oh, divine no. sorcerer. No. All right. For legal purposes, are... this is a joke. <laughs> in, in Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. <laughs> no, it's all in Minecraft. <laughs> Jesus cast fireball in Minecraft. <laughs> in Minecraft. In Minecraft. I'm trying to see where my. Uh... I'm thinking. There it is. All right. You guys head back over. Hmm. I... Oh, those fish. Yeah, look at those fish. Look at that <laughs> giant fish over there. You did a great job of the background art, Froggy. You did wonderful. You did wonderful. Look at him. Wait. Are you telling me the Froggy Lock did the art for this background? Yeah. Yes. Stop. Stop. Oh, man. Froggy, you do art? Stop. Stop. Do you do it on twitch.tv slash Froggy Lock? Is that where you do art at? And it's as so, we, it's so we, freaking cute. As we pass <laughs> into the door, uh, Beetle's gonna take Holic's spices out of his fanny pack. 
and shake him around like a little Morocco, a little Morocco bag. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll see that um the Thelma will be at the counter, and we'll see you guys coming. Like, ah, you guys finally come back. How was your uh, you know, how was your how was your trip? We got so much food for you! Oh yeah, oh, Talim, yeah. show him the stuff! Show him the gun! Uh, <laughs> Talim uh, will be like, stuff. I need a moment, um, but why don't you entertain the Elmas while I bring this back into the world of the living? <laughs> <laughs> he turns back to Talim. Do I have to? Man, really, really, you're doing this right now. If and then know. he turns back back to the Elmas. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, yes! <laughs> And so right. Talib will like unchain it like from his bag, like puts it on the ground, and he's just like hands on it, like focusing like on it for like ten minutes while I rematerializes the chest. I... We also got these uh these special delicious spices for you. I have a terrible image of Talim bringing things back to living. It's, it's like he's defecating things to life. <laughs> no! What? Huh? It's just like huh? <laughs> no! All right. Turning things back from ghost form, like one would put something <laughs> in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jers. Thank you. You're just, you're just spinning like. <laughs> <laughs> He's making just a very quiet <laughs> noise the entire time. <laughs> just, just don't put a spoon in there with it. And oh my god! <laughs> There's a spoon in the chest. Oh no! <laughs> Everything explodes. <laughs> <laughs> so the Thalma will look down at you, Beetle, and go like, "Ah, the spices, huh?" Yeah. Yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, you know, let me let, let me look at them all. Come on, bring it up, bring them up. And she'll yeah, tap the yeah. car. We personally requested Quan Shiri peppers. For oh, reason. really? Mm. Yeah. Very nice. We got uh, we got lots of meat. We got the the these ceiling guys with the long ears, and then we got uh some fish that uh, some those kinds of fish. We got all sorts of things, including trauma that we made along the way. <laughs> the trauma. Oh, oh you know, fishes. you know, you know, just uh, you know, rot flies. You know. Yeah, but for, and speaking of rot flies, you smell like a sewer. Yeah. You have a shower I could use. What's a shower? A bath? Anything? We got baths upstairs. It's, 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 uh, we'll worry about that later. But now you got a bathhouse uh, upstairs? That's <laughs> where you bath the products. All right now, let's let's see all what you got. And and, and as you guys, I see you guys present what you guys hey. hunted. Yeah. I mean, Talim gets done uh, recorporalizing the uh, the chest. Is the, the chest cracks open. <laughs> yeah. It's all steamy. It's all cooked. And she'll, uh, she'll like, ah, very nice, very nice. Yeah, I'll put that in storage. You'll see she'll take out a wand, kind of like out of her uh, out of her apron there. And you'll see that she'll twirl a little bit and go ping. And, and Holy bit, shit. And bit by bit, they'll just go and like just, they just got encased in ice. And she'll start doing more stuff with the wand and kind of like oh. bring it behind her and stuff and she'll start doing like you know, you know like the merlin from sword in the stone she'll yeah. begin to just just kind of watts them over the more they keep frozen like ping watts and watts and watts ping watts and watts and watts right into the back room as it goes back into storage and she'll just kind of flick the wand a little bit and whoosh, and the door behind her will close it heart turns around slowly and looks at the rest of the team like i told you <laughs> if it weren't for his his scale mail veil, like Talim would just be standing there slack jawed. <laughs> He's like, Great, just nodding. She's just like, Yeah, this seems right. <laughs> yeah, this seems right. I can't believe that uh, that Soren put the fairy godmothers in, <laughs> in the rock room. That's terrifying. <laughs> it gave them knives. <laughs> Damn, they, they gave knives. them knives. <laughs> uh, you'll see that. That Thelma will look at you and he's like, hey, good job. This is going to be a really good product. Really good product for the entire thing. So what I'm going to need you to now think about. If you want to help complete this job, we need baubles. 
All right, we need baubles, we need all sorts of things, all right? We need what? trinkets, we need nice little, you know, little little bits and bobs that's going to also sell, you know, make all the big wigs of the, you know, over at Queens, you know, like a little, little trinkets we got. Yeah, merchandise, that's what we need. Looks at Talim. Talim stands up, he throws <laughs> his arms to the side, like every, like every loose piece of ghostly metal on him jingles. He's like, say no more, my fair maidens. I am on the job. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. We're gonna need to find a couple of people to kind of like make some stuff. We're willing to pay, you know. You can say that the Alma's got their payment. They'll they'll know that they, they should know about us at that point. But if not, we already, yeah, Helma already drafted up drafted up piece of paper for you, and you will take a scrawl and pass it in front of Talim. <gasps> he'll uh, he'll mage hand it and uh, unfurl it and in front of him to take a, a look down the list. It is the most impressive contract you've ever seen. <laughs> it's like super well written, you know, all this other stuff, everything else, you know, uh, it is perpetual. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, it if Talim uh, had glasses, he would be pulling them out and like looking over them with looking over this contract with me. He's like, this is so good. I need to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they are it, fucking fake creatures. Yeah, basically, it's an agreement of saying we're good. We'll pay you if you get us this many bottles. Or make this this many bits of uh, fancy merchandise and details are in it and stuff, but uh, but yeah, but it's it's really well well made. And, and she'll go, all right, we need to find somebody who's capable of making a a lot of products very quickly. The 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 parade's gonna be happening happening like quite soon, so oh. we need to go ahead and get ready for it. Uh, oh. do, on your travels, have you uh, do you know of anybody who can kind of yeah, maybe someone you could talk to, anybody you know that might be able to craft anything. I know how to make 10-foot poles. Well, I would we already caught that merchandise a, uh... unless you did unclog an outhouse. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, I've got this. And Beetle reaches into his po- uh, his fanny pack and he pulls out one old wet buck tooth. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did run into... A craftsman while we were in the sewers, and someone of the alchemical variety. But he did oh. seem versed in crafting of all sorts. Perhaps we could employ his assistance for a price? Mm, alchemist, uh. He's very good at making tea that knocks you on your ass. <gasps> Not had... only that, but also, if you're looking for something that's a bit higher end, perhaps later down the road, the alchemical sorts are good at producing perfumes of all sorts. Wait, wait, he, wait. He, he, was, he was the guy that got us the peppers. Hmm. Beetle starts running uh. around and, and shaking people's pants and skirts and socks, and he's like, wait, 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 wait. We what? ain't got what? pants, what? Be Froggy, none of us have pants. <laughs> are none of you? Are we? Is no. Is no one wearing Nobody pants? Nobody in the party wears no pants, pants gang. Froggy. No. no pants, gang. Oh, my God. We're disgusting. Bart wears a loincloth. <laughs> Gray wears a tunic. Colleen no, wears robes. Okay, well, anyway, Beetle, he, he pulls out a rope, but he pulls out a water skin, and he starts tying the rope around the water skin, and he shakes it, and he holds it up, and he's like, what if we what if we got the alchemist to, to fill jars with floating sparkles? Or or what if we what if we got the alchemist to put make like if there's glowing fungus or something? You can put it in the water in some water and put that in the jar, make some little light jars, and we can sell the light jars! Oh damn dude! Dude! That's even, so so great! Even better. We could do what we did for the uh, other associate that we met and produce baubles of that sort as well. Oh yeah. Isn't he supposed to be joining us? Was that the young man we met earlier? No, the is uh the uh, uh, uh Talima's referencing the uh what is it? Uh Charles. Oh Charles. Uh, the, the barbell that we made for Charles. The 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 the, the, the oh, yeah. for yeah, reminder. Brock said, Brock said he was busy the the dying, yeah. so yeah, 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 yeah. We would Reminder, few, it's been a month. We would need a few more gems, I think, to make Things like that, but oh, maybe we can make something simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you'll hear a, squeak. Like, oh. hear a squeak behind you and go, Do you need gems? Oh. See, that Vina will tug your tail. Oh, she's so cute. Talim will turn around and he's like, Oh, 
Vina, hello. Vina! <laughs> she she skittishes away a little bit and, and kind of shakily just kind of rings her rag and conveniently over uh, a water bucket that she has. And uh, she'll go, I, uh, I, 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 I think I know someone who could help. Yeah. Gems, colorful bits of glass or crystal. It doesn't yeah. really matter the value as long as you make it look pretty. Yeah. I, I know of a blacksmith. Do tell. Uh, he's a big fella, but he, uh, he does good work. It, it, it's mostly on just referral, but it, it, uh, it, for special clients, but uh, maybe he'll listen to the Elmas. Mmm. Talim will like turn back at a, at a, um, what was it? Did we, we were talking with Mama Thelma? Yeah, Thelma. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, turn back to Mama Thelma and he'll like, no conk his head a little bit. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. I was going to help us out a little thing. You could combine all your ideas together and make something real nice. Yeah, yeah. Vader, why didn't you bring this up before? Hi, I, no one mentioned anything. <laughs> Like, all right. You just get the scoop from Vina. Go check it out. See if it's something worthwhile. Thank you, Vina. Uh, you see, Vina will nod and, um, say, like, yeah, he, he lives in a suspended house. Um, he refused to move when cracks came underneath, so it's quite obvious to find his home, but it's a bit, it's a bit tucked away. Um, it's, it's, it's over here. And, and you see that she'll, um, it's like, I assume, what, if you have a map or anything? Or if not, she'll kind of be like, it's over on the other side of the pod's palaster. You'll follow the big crack, and you'll, you'll eventually find his home. Ah! Okay. That sounds easy enough. Yeah, just say that, uh, that, that, that Fanny sent, sent, sent you, and, uh, you, you should be fine. Ah! This is great! We're gonna make you not die! Oh, yeah? decorations and, and, and closures. Thank you so much. What a nice young lady. <laughs> she'll, she'll nod very quickly, but then quickly rush away. She starts taking care of uh, other customers inside of Elma's and, uh, you know, serving drinks, washing tables, stuff like that. Uh, Thelma will look at you all and he's like, well, it looks like you got a lead. Yeah, yep, off we go. Where are we Before going first? you go, you probably need a bath. Oh, please. But what if we're going <laughs> back in the sewer? What if we're going to see Holic again? And with that, we'll take a quick break. Excellent. <laughs> we will be break. right back, everyone. Use the bathroom, get a drink, all that stuff. We'll be right back. And anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We survived. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to rock goons you guys have got a tip that there is a blacksmith as described as a big fella further in mm. that um you've been instructed to go northwise of the pond's pilaster and i assume you yeah, guys by after vina. yeah by vina the uh the waitress who works at elma's yeah while you're there uh, while you're there, Elna's currently, uh, I assume everyone takes a bath, refreshes, you know, take, maybe takes a little rest. Oh, yeah. Gray yeah. is so fluffy now. Oh, so fluffy. She is so fluffy <laughs> and she doesn't smell awful. Fluffers, dude. <laughs> oh, don't say fluffers. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh! no! <laughs> you stepped right <laughs> into that one! Anyway, <laughs> Dude. <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> well, the podcast has been great. The game's been great. I'll see y'all later. Uh, <laughs> all right, pack it up, pack it up. Good camping. Bye, everybody. Uh, yeah, when we all meet up again, all fresh and neat and smelly, but in the good way, Beetle oh. clap his little slappers together and it'll be like where are we going first i suppose we should if we're wanting to look do more bubbles we should probably go visit the blacksmith first mm -hmm. and if the results are less than desirable perhaps we could go bother holic ah. yeah let's go 
With that, you make your way there. You have in, you have some scribbled instructions by Vina on where where to find this individual. As you're going through the Pond's Blaster, um, you know that there is the sinkhole, which is just a, just a large just, just pit. It's kind of in the middle of it. But due to that and due to certain bits, there's, there's cracks that have, have kind of formed here and there. And as you know, in, in the Pond's Palace, you guys have, your characters have been here for a while. Things are generally solid in a lot of places, like old stone foundation of long distant past construction city. Uh, you do know that there's some parts that have also just kind of like fallen down a little bit in or deep pits that the lower part of the city. You follow a general line of cracks until you find yourself near the location. But on the way, do any of your characters have any thoughts? Any? Uh, Mid sentence, uh, Hart uh, shrugs and goes, I don't see why it's bad to call it tracking the crack. <clears throat> I. <clears throat> uh... Me either. <laughs> Let's yeah, just dude. keep going. <laughs> it's what we're doing. We're a couple of trackers out on yeah. the street. So what's a blacksmith? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. You, you don't, don't, know, what Wait, you don't know what a blacksmith is? You don't know what a blacksmith is? No. You have to realize that heart comes from a place where those don't utilize very much equipment. Their uh -huh. bodies are their armor and their weapons. Man, I didn't eat meat until I was like six. Well, where did you get uh, your your big angry shoulder from? That thing? Yeah. He he points at the thing. Oh, uh, da uh, my uh, my father, my you know my big father. He holds up his hands. Uh, he he left this with me. Oh. Well, yeah. a blacksmith would make something like that. No, 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 my, my, my father made us. Uh, no, I, no, I'm not saying a blacksmith made that. I'm saying a blacksmith would make something like that. Yeah. It's all metal workers. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. That trinket you guys have been holding? Yeah. Who's yeah. holding yeah. it? Kaleem. Right. Kaleem. Yeah. Kaleem, <laughs> like, has it. Where do you have it stored? I... Probably in, like, a belt pouch. I love how collectively that happened, and we were like, well, that sucked. That was weird anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost, weird shit happens. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, that was kind of scary anyway. So the weird as, stuff uh, that happened that day. As you, as you all are talking, um, like, hard as you're mentioning it, I assume you maybe talk with your hands a little bit. Like maybe wave it up or oh, down yeah. and mention with it. Like in your field of vision, you bring your hand up. It's like, ah, it's, ah, and you bring it down. As soon as it comes back on, that thing is around your wrist. Oh. No one saw it move. It's just there. And you feel a irony tightness on your right hand. That's weird. <laughs> or it keeps on walking, but he just looks at it. That's weird. When did you That's give weird. me this? He, he looks. He looks over at Talim. Uh, Talim, he's uh, like looks over and he looks at it, and his eyes get really wide, and he's like, "I didn't. <laughs> he, uh, no, Fun. they should be." And like he like reaches down the belt pouch, he looks at back. Funny joke like, there, Talim. Funny joke. Wizarding around again. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> when did you give me this? <laughs> Hard. I'm telling you, I I didn't. Hasn't that been in your possession this whole time? At least I thought it was. Uh, uh, um. The, 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 like, Tilly will like look down at Beetle. Is like, is this one of your tricks? No, no, no. Uh, hey, heart, maybe you take that off and give it back. Uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't take it. I didn't take it. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I know. Maybe, maybe take it off though. Uh, heart uh, will. You know, you start to unwind it from his wrist and take it off, or at least try to. Take it off just fine. It, it seems it just slips over. It's kind of like a bracelet. It took an. He, he looks like a skink. And he looks down at it. Back. He looks down at it in his in his big ass palm. He looks down at his little pendant. It looks it looks harmless. 
was sitting there. But... Oh, you know, maybe the blacksmith will want to buy that. Oh, yeah, maybe. Mm. Well, you yes. said they work with metals and stuff, right? Yeah. Maybe you can tell yes. us, maybe yeah. you can tell us like more the, about the, it. The, the gym was not able to be removed, so maybe it's something that he could make use of. You know, something hmm. really weird happened before we left the sewer. I had, like, this weird dream, but I was awake. What? Yeah. I had, like, uh, uh, when, uh, when, <clears throat> when Charles left, it was like, I was standing there and everything was fine, and then we had that thing, and then it was like, a, whoa, I, <laughs> I accidentally had a dream, but I'm awake. But I think it, I, it was okay. It was probably just a smell. Beetle, that's weird, because that's not how dream works, because I had the same feeling. What? Yeah, you know. Did we shared math? No, no. What? Yeah, I, I thought it, I thought it, it was stuff. You know, could have been the smell because I witnessed the same thing and. And could your have dad been... and you had the same dream. Yeah, so that r runs out like sewer fumes, right? Let's just sell it and get rid of it. But yes, perhaps we should sell it. Uh -huh. it's, it's better. Perhaps it is better that way. You want it, it back? It grows dark. It grows what? dark as you guys continue on. Uh, like, like natural dark or just like nighttime? Okay. okay. <laughs> nighttime. Oh, yeah, we have been in the sewer the entire <laughs> fucking day. We started and out you, in the morning. And pulled out and my ever burning little... torch. <laughs> And you feel that you are getting closer to your objective heart. You said you were trying to just give it back, right? No, I asked. He asks Talim, hey, do you want this back? And then Talim will like open a hand. It's like, I think it has some sort of magic. Perhaps it is best that I hold on to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it feels harmless, harmless, but he looks down at it. But You would think the same of the Elmas. Yeah. Bad yeah. mm -hmm. feeling about this. He 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 is convinced with that statement to give it to Talim. <laughs> <laughs> You're able to take it off and hand it back just fine. He will like mage hand it and he'll like kind of like palm it with the mage hand until he can like put it back in a pouch. You notice that when you kind of bring it over and stuff that you're able to touch it. Huh. Strange. Definitely What's up? magic. Um He'll just stuff it back in a, in a ghostly melt, uh, yep, belt just pouch. Just goes, goes into your pouch yep. and whoosh, hidden from view. <laughs> Gray kind of just like <laughs> watches and she's just like, um, I don't know if I like that. Let's walk a little faster. <laughs> Walking. As you walk a little faster, uh, Beetle and everyone else, you notice around your surroundings a lot more disheveled. It's part of the ponds, but last year, a lot of like basically like abandoned homes and destroy and just kind of planks scatter about rubble here and there, fallen statues, all sorts of things. But you begin to hear the clinking chain from what direction in front of us or behind us, right in front of you. Be positioned correctly. Oh. You'll be able to see just fine. Uh -huh. In front of uh -huh. you, what you see is a house, and the clinking of the chains seem to be bolted on to the side. I thought this was uh. supposed to be a nicer part of town. Further down, you can see that, just kind of looking around left and right, the house is suspended over a bottomless pit. <laughs> or a crack. You know, the chains are just kind of just swaying here and there, just ching, 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 just kind of just keeping it afloat. This is really weak for infrastructure. Oh, uh, what if we said to leave it by himself? They will like look, will, like look down, like <laughs> sideways at uh, at Beetle. It's just like, and why would you ever do that, Beetle? Oh, I, well, I, you don't weigh anything. I, I, you know, I've been told I'm getting bigger. I put on a pound. Uh, Gray, Gray turns around, 
picks up Beetle, turns around, puts him in front of her. Oh. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so he will, will glide past Beetle and just be like, you know, I'm a generous soul. I'll go ahead if you feel uncomfortable. I'll, I'll follow anything. behind you. Okay. You're, you're, you're a big guy, but you know you, you don't weigh like a big guy, so you know so, nothing would fall out from under your feet. As you guys traverse, and as I hold you all, uh, Beetle, which I'll pull you back. So yes, make a mistake. Back. I can't uh, believe Beetle uh, perished by falling. I have, I have a question, Soren. <laughs> yes. Uh, does this place look sturdy and durable, or do we hear a constant groan of every single chain? Like you, you constantly hear the chain shifting and stuff, and you see that the chains are embedded like past windows, and you imagine they're wrapped around beams, and some of them are just spiked and embedded in the houses around. Um, you'll even notice to the north as you were passing by, there's a large stone statue that seems to have fallen on the house as well. Um, with a bunch of scaffolding around it and ladders and such, and a bunch of refuse around the houses itself. So you, uh, you're very surprised that this house is still standing, but it somehow still is. Hmm. But Beetle, what you, uh, can do for me, uh, you notice further over to the left of the map or further ahead of you that there is someone atop a building holding a torch. And if you would like or anybody else would like to, uh, you'll all notice the light source. Roll me all a perception check. <gasps> I'm okay at those. Oh, I rolled a total of eight. Am... That's unfortunate. I, I rolled, rolled a seven for a total of 12. I, I also rolled, rolled a 12. I rolled a 21. Woo! Hart, you, um, you see this individual a lot more clearly than anybody else. Everyone else seems to be a bit oblivious uh, to the individual, but they, know, they you all notice the light source. Uh, you can tell from this distance that that person is holding a crossbow. <laughs> They seem to be scanning around, looking for something. I enter mountain stats. <laughs> and so uh, you, you notice that the, your light is very bright, Talene. You did say you had a torch out. Yeah. Yeah, a ghostly blue light. Like to keep that up? Well, do I see the individual with the crossbow? You do see the individual, but you do not see the weapon he's carrying. Only no. heart knows that. As if he has a crossbow out. I mean, uh, as if he's keeping watch. Do Hark? I hear the sound of, you know, like a cinder block being dragged on the ground as Hart enters mountain stands? Or has Hart said anything? Hart uh, puts a hand on Talim's shoulder, and it's not like, ah, oh, yeah, he pokes through him through. or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but Soren, my hands are magical now. It falls through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best uh, <laughs> yeah. but uh, 50% chance. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm messing heart, with you. You can yeah, put a hand on the shoulder. Heart um, attempts to take the Liam's attention and he nods up um, just with his head and then points over at the little crossbow at the on Beetle's back and it makes a little bit of a crossbow. Act like look up, uh, haha! I'm wielding a crossbow. Kind of look. He's so bad at charades. <laughs> oh, Tim is like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna say, I was gonna jokingly say, Tim is like, ah, oh, we want Beetle to shoot the person with the crossbow. Uh -uh. <laughs> but no, like Tim, uh, Tim will like look back and I guess take a closer look at that person with the light. Um. Uh, you know, see if. What a uh, heart is like motioning towards is you know him actually holding a crossbow, and like he just didn't catch it the first time around, or so yeah, you can roll me another perception check if you like. Uh, see, we kind of look well, just a little bit easier. Well, 
that's you, happening. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> okay, so oh. uh, go, go ahead, Beetle. Like, go it, ahead, Beetle. Yeah. yeah, shortly after we notice the crossbow guy and stuff starts going on with Talim and Heart in the background, I like Beetle to, oh, and the like, cup his hands around his snoot and go, oh, hey! <laughs> and call out to the guy on the roof. Gray jumps because suddenly Beetle is yelling. <laughs> As you yell, you'll see <laughs> you'll see the guy on the roof take like kind of put his fingers to his lips and whistle loudly. <laughs> and go, I, I, I don't want to whistle right now, but a yeah, very yeah. loud whistle, and uh, you'll see that he'll begin to aim the crossbow at ah! you. Um. And so at that. I need all of you to roll me initiative. Guys, oh, I think that guy no. has a weapon. No. You don't say. <laughs> I rolled a 13 for a total of 19. <laughs> I rolled a 6 for a total of 11. I rolled a 26. We'll do this one. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do good old, good old classic brutal battle soundtrack. What did you get, man? I said I got a 14. Nice. But no one heard me. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Neato. You see that he'll, he'll aim at you. <laughs> and he will make an attempt a natural oh. 20. Oh, oh no. my god. You know, the range oh. penalty and everything else. Yeah. You are lined up for him to swoosh. Oh, my child. Sorry for the loud noise, by the way. <laughs> there are oh some Oh, my god. Things. I made my heart jump. I have a lot of uh, added a lot of uh, sound effect things that have added in special effects, and some of them come with sounds. So my bad. <laughs> Regardless, shoom, basically a bolt beam. You go, hey guys, just <laughs> 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 right in you, and it does twelve points of damage. Uh, <laughs> he gets shish kebobbed backwards into Gray's leg. <laughs> I can't believe. Gray immediately looks down, like all of this happened in slow mo, and she's, she is just like, "What the fuck?" And now she's angry. Yeah. And you'll see that uh, the you'll see the individual reload on top of the place, and um, and get and get ready. Beetle, it's your turn. Ah! And looks and, and, I'll, and I will give you and I'll give you info. Uh, so for free, just passive perception stuff. You hear voices. The other side of the wall. Oh. Oh. Wait. Beetle is uh, it's shaken. He takes out his own crossbow, and he fucking loads it. He's, he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> so to also help you out, also help you out, Beetle. Uh, there is a there's a thing in Pathfinder Second Edition where you can take cover. You can take cover behind things and stuff, and uh, easy one to take, get a little tucked in with the wall there. Uh, oh. With the building and stuff, there's some uh, debris and stuff kind of around the corner. You can see. Um, oh yeah, you can squeeze. You can, yeah, and uh, you can you can take cover in places and increase your AC by two. So if someone's shooting at you, it, yeah. it, it'll help you out. You have to take Is an it, action to do that. Yeah, if it takes an action, I won't take cover this round. But I really appreciate you telling me that. Uh, so he takes out his crossbow, he loads it, and I'd like to devise a stratagem. He gets his, his little bug eye out and he starts looking at the guy up on the roof. Is it alt click? Is that right? Yeah, or you can um, hover over and press T. Yeah. Whoa, the arrows look different! Yeah, we did a whole update with Foundry. Ooh, a little fancy. Fancy! Oh. I'm gonna device stratagem! Block his forward jab. You know that with your divided stratagem, you know you're gonna miss with a 12. So you can do another action instead. Uh, I take cover. <laughs> okay, so uh, let, let's say I'll say for the do the terrain and stuff around here. You know, there's some refuse near the wall and stuff. Uh, yeah. Take an action, and basically, I'm gonna do this little shield thing on you. 
I'm gonna squat down low and press my ass against the wall. There you go. I basically gave you some plus two AC, so you are now taking cover. Thank you. And Chad says, can't see the enemy? Yeah, you can. Uh, he's right there. He's there on the left side. It's just uh, this little vision issue right there. Right there on the left side, you know, on top of the uh, building there. He's got a really long mustache. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, that was your first action. You still have you, ha you have two actions left. Me? No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, that's right. You divide us. Okay, if you want to end your turn, we can go to heart. Yeah, ending oh, my turn. Cool. Ending my turn. All right, heart is I... your turn. Yes. So, uh, Soren. <laughs> well, I, I want to mention. You... Froggy decided to type in chat, Ma at Maticus, I'll kill you, but the auto mod stopped her. <laughs> <laughs> auto mod's got your back, Maddie. <laughs> um, Maddie Lee. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, Salty. Uh, my bad. No, it's no, it's too funny. It, it, Go ahead. It's hecking great. It's so funny. Um, uh, Soren. Yes. Uh, due to being a bit uh, rusty, uh, how was it that uh, I can uh, calculate my movement by pressing a different button? Like uh, when I measure my movement, how do I measure a second time? Like is it uh, control? Press space. Or space. If you want to make a right. waypoint. Okay, Th that's number one. And uh, then I want to move. Uh, um, then I want to do. We do it continuously funny? as you're holding your token. Here, I can. Yeah. Uh, I can help you and bring you back. I think you're back here. Okay. Are you? Um, behind Salim. Right behind Salim. Okay. When you're dragging your token here in, in Foundry, as you're yeah. holding your token, don't let it go. Okay. Uh, move yeah, it up, yeah. press space, Oop. move it, press space, move it, press space. It'll make waypoints, right. and then you, when you release it, it'll auto move. I right. And, and so, Salim, I'll, I'll bring you back. I'll bring you oh, back. Okay. I, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 was, I have, I was trying I have, to the, stuff and I have this <laughs> cool ability known as Key Rush. God. You Naruto run? Uh, no, I'm not Naruto running. I am going to. Uh, where the fuck am I? Where the you fuck did I yourself? I think you went under what? Talim. I, or oh, no. you pressed the delete button. Oh. No, you moved yourself to the top left of the map on somehow. How did this happen? <laughs> no, just, instant transmissions. You, you somehow. Hi, so. Oh my god, Back. that's interesting. Give me a second. Key rush. Boop. <laughs> Key rush. Ah. <laughs> that's an interesting glitch. There you go. I can't, I can't uh, believe. Heart no clipped into the back rooms. Oh, okay. <laughs> due, uh, due to the ability of uh, Key rush, I can uh, perform yeah. two move actions. Yes. Um. I can perform two move actions, and uh, I gain concealed until um, uh, until the start of my next turn. Uh, so Hart is going to move. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to move uh, since I am much faster now. Uh, everyone, uh, I can uh, I can move all the way up here. And then I'm going to do my second action to move. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Um, all right. I'm going to move all the yeah, way. That, that'll take all three. That's that the coloration helps you. So the blue is yes, one. Exa the yellow exactly. is two. That is three. Uh, so you can so, move now and then do your stuff. Yeah. Like so uh, Harp is coming out. Just um, flex his calves. And then you see a... Um, a slight spark, and he just whoosh comes in, becomes a cloud of smoke, and he just teleports here. <laughs> he just runs through Talim. Talim is just like parts like a dust cloud, and then recoils. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, and and that guy, that guy right in front of him, that guy right right in front of him, right there. Uh, uh, as he appears right before this guy, he is going to okay. Give, give me my actions, character sheets. Please give me my give me my actions. Um, uh, Are you looking for all those special actions or something? They had to get removed because that mod got it wasn't no. updated anymore. So okay, you have to cool. tell me what you want to do, I, and we'll do the rules. I will demo attempt to demoralize him. Awesome. Roll me intimidation check. Yes. 
I rolled oh. a 6 for a total of 12. I saw the 16. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not a success. Uh, but yeah, he, he just appears right in front of him and goes, what are you doing? Uh, you're not right in front of him. He's on top of the building. Okay. Unless you're able to climb up there. Right. Cool. Ah, but we can fix this. We can fix this. You're standing on a roof. A giant man appears like <laughs> hell. He's below the there. edge. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, <gasps> Is yes, that the end of your turn? Yes, that is the end of my okay. turn. Gray, your turn. I am declaring uh, that man my hunted prey. I'm taking out my crossbow, and I'm I'm going to give him a taste of his own medicine. A little snap, crackle, pop. Do it. Yeah, boy. For a total of 24. Excellent shot. Just, just basically sticks right into him. Roll me that damage. Rolling that damage, and I am rolling for a total oh, of nine. Oh. Oh. Uh, did you include your... Let me check. Yeah, I clicked yeah, hunted prey. Okay, okay, awesome. Yeah, you do nine points of damage to him. And just, you just see him just kind of like just kind of grab onto the bolt that goes right into his chest, and you see him just, just grimace a bit under his uh, cloak and hood. She snarls as she reloads. Why? Why I'm didn't done. he take precision damage? Yeah, it only it only shows the one d ten. That's what I was wondering. It didn't do yeah. the uh, thing. Hold up. Yeah, uh, it didn't do the thing. This round. Da -da -da. Huh? That's weird. Uh, plus your circumstances. Ah, uh, uh, that might be a, a bit of a little, little hoo -hee. A hoo -hee? Yeah, a little, a little, little hoo -hee. Then just make sure uh, what your damage thing is. Da -da -da, plus your circumstance bonus, hunt prey, da -da -da, and then your special a feat D8. thing. It's a D. Uh, yeah, roll one D8 for me. We'll add that on there. Wait, uh, which one? You is you. Rolling. All right, four one D8 additional damage. For four additional go. damage. Bam, there you go. Yeah, but basically for context chat, uh, she, um, for gray, she has precision for her hunter's edge. So when she, like, that's my target, the first damaging roll of the round, which was pretty much every one she does it, uh, we'll just do an additional D8. Just the extra damage. So good. For context. Helene. Usually. Yes. Sorry, uh, you were saying something. My bad, gray. Oh, it's okay. Uh, usually the foundry will do that for me, but it, for some reason it didn't do that this time. Yeah, I did a big major update and update to the latest version, so some things might go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're going. All right. So you said that this person whistled, and um, like we heard uh, like other sounds on the other side of this wall, or yeah, other side of the wall, north of you. All right. Would you say that they have friends on the other side? I. I'm biting you, I'm biting you, I'm biting you. Oh, it's so good to have you this campaign. Uh, I'm so glad that we're going to get rid of you and bury you into the fucking ground. I hate it All right. here. Uh, on, on, on that note, I can't move nearly as fast as Hark does. Um, I also don't have any extended range like um, like Gray does. But what you I notice is that they're... projectile if you get within 30 feet. I do. But there's also an alleyway behind us and so i'm actually going to step up behind gray turn around raise my shield and uh and guard the flank and uh we'll like team lean will look over his shoulder and uh let gray know that he is guarding the flank he nods yeah mm, and uh raise my shield and oh. uh ba -ba -ba -ba, i think that is the end of my turn all right now it's this guy's turn. You see that he will look down at you, Hart. Just kind of come over to the edge, look down at you, and take a pop shot. Just oh. And huh. we'll hit you just barely. Nice. And with its hand crossed, we'll only do three points of damage. It's not a crit, not the massive damage it was before. And you'll see that this, uh, the individual on top of the building will reload. But during this as well, a few more enter the scene. You hear yelling from the north part of going like, it's like, like who sounded the alarm? Like, 
It's like, we got to this. This loot's ours. And then you'll see uh, uh, hearts. You can't quite see anything, but you know from the north, uh, a couple voices are heard. Beetle, your turn. Oh, oh. I load my crossbow and I device stratagem again. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Please, 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 please. Don't let them inside. Make sure no, there's no survivors, no witnesses. As he's talking, Beetle will fire. You fire, and looks like you will hit the 22. Aw, yeah. That's a five damage. One yeah. D8 plus one D6 for five. And it gets right into him. Gets ah. Again. I need help! <laughs> ah, you know, and he sits a grimace up there on top of the building with your little bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'd like to do some battle medicine on my shelf. I want okay. to heal my poor little body. So okay, you have the bolts. Let me unselect this guy. Let me select myself and use my yeah. medicine. And, oh, sorry, I... Yes! Oh, yes, I did! Okay. Oh, that's... man, the DC, I could have put his turning because you're in a combat. It's, it's 15. You're good. Um, that's 2d8, 2D8, right? Yeah, 2d8 to heal yourself. Woo! Ah, good, good. Yeah. You got healed for 10 that's points. Crazy. I snapped the crossbow and I just started to hear little scissor snipping sounds as I'm that's, <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> operating on myself. And that is it for my turn. Excellent. Heart, it's now your hey, go. Soren. Yes. Where's the door? Uh. Mm, well, you can't see a door because there's a lot of refuse and debris around, but I you do know where he scrambled up from. And just, the, you see a lot of debris around. You are confident if you just kind of just normally climb up, it'll be very All easy right. to get up there. Hey, Soren. Yes. <laughs> You can make it up there in like a turn or like in one action to get up there and scramble up. Is it is it ten feet up to the roof? Uh around like fifteen up there, but yeah, you can make it up there, oh, that's fine. In okay. One so if I so if I move over to let's say um let's say that I want to move over to uh this debris like the, the to closest help you out, debris. You can get to yeah. his left in one action. Okay. Uh, cool. Soren, quick reminder, I can easily high jump 10 feet. Mm hmm So I just want to jump. Just jump up I there. You know what? I I'll bend reality a bit. That's fucking cool. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah. yeah! I just yeah. imagine just like Hari just like bends his <laughs> knees a little bit and just does like a standing jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's gonna make this man uh, shit his pants. Uh, Tell me the uh, what uh, you want uh, to do on your turn. Are you trying to jump up and to go whoop and like punch yeah, him, or uh, are you trying to get up there? Uh, uh, heart, uh, I I want to jump up, and mid air I want to punch him. Oh that's cool. God. That's cool to me. I'll allow it. Okay. I can't believe Hart is doing a Superman punch. Uh, so so uh, athletic check to jump. Uh, if I remember right, yes. Yes. Yeah, high jump with athletic skill action. Uh, basically, he's trying to... Da, da, da. I rolled a 12 for a total of 23. Let's see. Uh, high jump. You stride to make a vertical leap and attempt a DC 30 athletics checks to increase the height of your jump. Yeah, so that is a high jump. It's probably vertical. Let me see. Uh, yes. Anything vertical? Is there a vertical jump? Uh, there is a vertical jump. Um, yeah, high your, jump's kind of... Uh, up all over. Uh, your jump speed is also determined basically by your speed. Yeah, you uh, have as to well. Stride a bit, yeah. Here, you know yeah. what? Here, I'll, so, I'll I'll game master it a little bit. Yeah. If you if you um, let's say the DC of it's going to be twenty five. You failed okay. in this one. You got two actions left. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to jump again. Simple as that. Yeah, I'll, I'll out <laughs> this time for rule of cool. I rolled a 17 for a total of 28. And you're up there. You go. Whoosh, 
Yes. Samurai and, uh, Jack, I jump good. Whoosh, I no, jump good. There, yeah. Uh, yeah. A heart squats down, and uh, you just hear a boom as he uh, launches himself up into the air. Uh, and uh, as he just appears in front of this person, you can just see an arm fly out towards this guy's head with an open palm. Uh, and um, uh, I, stri I strike with flurry of blows that allows me to strike twice um, in one action. So this is the first roll. That's a 17. That's a hit. Uh, and uh, just for fun, uh, here's my other attack. That's a natural, natural one. one. Oh, yes, but I, I did hit one, go. which is enough. Uh, I gotta but get out please the crit give fail. me that. <laughs> yeah, give me out the crit fail thingy. Yeah, that's a complication. Mm. Give me the complication. Really salty. If you it's go fun. That edge. I'm mid air. Yeah, first <laughs> off, as we do stuff, roll me damage of your first strike. Ah, oh, yes. I rolled a two for a total of six. There are complication sheets. Ooh. 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 Complication. I have to go to Google Sheets. It's like a bunch of them. There we go. All right, there we go. And don't worry, Thurston. If you're watching, I will label these. Okay, so that's <laughs> an attack. Let's see. Let's just see. It's a main thing to. But, uh, if, if you want to theme okay. it a little, if you want to theme it really good, it's like, you know, um, jumping high and stuff like that. Well, it's all it's all up to the patrons who do it. That's that's really good. Oh, okay, on, true, true, true. On their thing, let's see. Uh, okay, we'll use this one. We'll use yeah. this one. I, I got I got one in mind. I got one in mind. I'll yeah. go ahead and highlight that. Person does it murder me. I'm sorry, chat, that it takes me a while to find this. All right. You have to go through a spreadsheet and stuff. All right, so basically what you do, you come up into the air and, go, and, uh, and you punch this guy. And you do so much damage that it kills him. You go, and he just drops his torch. It, it, it drops the torch and kind of uh, right in front of him. You see him just like, just ca his chest caves in. It's like you punch the bolts inside. Um, you want to give any more Something narrative flies flare? Out. You want to give uh, more yeah. narrative? It's your, it's your kill. My bad. It's your kill. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. We, I can follow up on what you said. So he jumps up and he just reaches out his fist uh, in, in a punching motion towards this guy. And he it does impact his chest. And you can hear a splatter behind him <sighs> as something <laughs> escapes from his back. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, and uh, and, and then and then heart, and then heart falls. Uh, but due to having the dancing leaf feet, uh, heart just shunks his hand into the wall and slides down. And as you're trying to slide down, maybe on the side of the building, here's mm. where your complication comes. In. This is from yes! the Damon, or Damon for uh, or damn the man. Uh, kind of in with the complication called a hole. Ah. <laughs> with little to no, little or no warning, the floor spontaneously gives way, and you fall through a hole just narrow enough that your arms will prevent you from falling further, unless you decide <gasps> otherwise. You you begin to slide down as you touch on the cobble on, on the cobble floor or the cobble streets there, uh, mm -hmm. surrounding this building. You go mm -hmm. and you nearly fall down into the endless abyss, but your arms. <laughs> are holding you there. It's a good enough purchase and you feel that it won't fall through completely, but you are Oh fuck yeah. You are you are stuck there for now. You have to spend an action to get back up. Fuck yeah. Thank you so much, Dan. Now and if you want to display your own complications, you can go to patreon.com for us near the declaration where you can mess with the players. And Heck Hart, yeah, that was great! That's the end of Thanks. your turn. Yes. That's terrifying. <laughs> Heart, heart lets out a, I'm fine! Yes. You hear footsteps. Oh. And they get faster. Faster. Not fine. He's not fine. Faster. Not fine. See one guy kind of come up here. He's like, like, they're here! They're here! They're behind the building! 
and you oh. see that as he gets up, he'll look at you, Talim, and you'll see that a rock being thrown from a sling will come straight at you. It misses you. Thank you for your shield. King, just right off of your shield. Talim swats it out of the air with his shield and, uh, like, thumbs a handle on his uh, aft coil as it begins to, uh, uh, what is it, um, break into the, uh, the various uh, chain held together pieces. Gray, it's now your turn. Gray spins around hearing the rock hit Talim's shield. She immediately aims her crossbow at the guy that just ran on up. Uh, this is the targeted prey, uh, the new targeted prey. So uh, we're going to shoot him with a big old bolt. I right, kind of zoom. <laughs> bolt comes through, flies through. That is a hit with the 24. That's a total of, yep, 24. We're going to hit that damage. And yeah, roll me the 1d8. It seems to not be doing it. Yep, yeah, got you. Got you. We'll figure it out mm. after. Nine and a six. Nice. A total of 15. Bam, bam. Pretty much. Just... <laughs> You'll see blood come out. The... He seems to be wearing kind of like a cloth mask. You just kind of easily pull up. And so you see blood begin to pull inside of it. As he just kind of grabs onto the bolts he just put inside of his body. Uh, uh. I assume you reload. Snarls. Reloading. Mm-hmm. That's it for me. Hearts, you hear voices from the north. Or a voice from the door. It's going like, Greg, Greg, Greg. And you see a guy <laughs> with an axe is rushing towards you. Snake, snake, <laughs> snake. You see, it's, it's nice. very dark here. And unfortunately, they're not within any lights. And so, I am. <laughs> yeah, go at it. So, so you are concealed, technically, because you are in darkness. He does not have a torch out. But he mm. kind of, like, you know, from from the moon and stuff, you can kind of see a tad, yeah, but yeah. just not enough. Um, let's see. Let me just make sure I get the concealed rules, right? I think I just roll a flat 20. But yeah, flat 20. All right. He comes up to you, looks at you. You can tell he has like a bit of iron as a bit of iron as uh, something slashes towards you. Oh. Damn. It might not happen because I have to roll to see if it <laughs> happens because it's concealed. It does go through. You feel yes. a hatchet just just right <laughs> into your side, dealing 11 points of damage because it rolled max. Just, just right into the side of you, heart. And it's his turn to lean. You're flanked. Um. Yeah, Talim will look over his shoulder and uh, at uh, at Hart and Beetle, and be and uh, he'll be like, "Cover Hart," and he'll step forward um, and uh, target this guy. He'll raise his shield and then lash out with his uh, with his ass coil or chain. Uh, what is it? A uh, uh, whip sword. All right, shields All right. up, walking up, swoosh. Your bladed, long, your bladed, uh, extended blade just swing, just twist it for us right at him. Uh, go ahead and roll me. Yeah, I roll that. I got a plus eight to it. I roll a seventeen for a miss. Uh, that is unfortunate. You do have a hero point now. Thanks I to chat. do. Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll re-roll that. Uh, wait. How do I do that again? Attack. Attack. Okay, there we go. Reroll with hero point. There we go. That's more like it. I rolled a 16 for a total of a 24. And that's going to be a hit. Roll me some damage. Rolled a 4 plus 3 for my strength for a total of 7 damage. Awesome. Just, just nice. Catches him across the face. You'll see blood just whip across the stone wall right by him. I believe that's the end of your turn. Yep. Beetle. Oh, pick it up. Here we go. Beetle is going to take off this way. Uh, the cool thing I added in Foundry is that uh, your buffs should auto should auto go away now. Oh, yeah, I noticed sick. that. I was like, oh, it's gone. <laughs> okay, so Beetle's going to take off this way. And, uh, oh, God, did I reload my crossbow in my last round? I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's let's say no for 
safety and... Uh, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to oh, you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That, I'll be I'm nice. Gonna... You, you just spit it in there. Just... Oh, wow! Thank you so much! I'm gonna devise a strategy on the, uh, the silhouette encroaching upon heart there. Oh, yeah, okay. you have dark vision. Yeah, Beale yeah, can I see do. just fine. Okay. I so like that's... how... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you did it and did the sound effect, and Talene's avatar just died because he pressed a numpad button. Like it's about to oh, did, and he just died <laughs> on, on the screen. Oh, no, my trauma! Talene, no! <laughs> and while no one can see what's happening, under the shroud of darkness, I kill Talene! <laughs> no! Again. Betrayal! Um, he wants to be the not along. Did roll yeah. 20, but uh, you have dark visions, you see just fine. And you do eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. He lets that crossbow fly, and then he's gonna run for this uh, this bridge. Awesome! All right, you're running for the bridge. Yeah, I'm, I could get it. I think one more step. I'm counting right. One more. One more. Yeah, one more? yeah it'll, it'll it'll give you color. Uh, shy? It'll tell you. That's my turn. All right, heart. All right, so <clears throat> it's dark. Uh, the moon. Stink. <laughs> it's, it's art and dank, yeah. It's uh, it's rotting, it's grinding. Um, Is that a vampire count, Dankula? It's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, exactly. <laughs> so, um, Hart will um, he will go with the logic of that's that's where the guy is, where the hatchet is, <laughs> uh, and um, he will uh, he will strike out towards him. Uh, but before he does that, uh, he will um, he will scream uh, towards this person right in front of him uh, in uh, in a, a weird language that he probably doesn't know. Um, so he will just bellow out uh, as he will try to scare whoever is trying to strike him out from the darkness. Uh, so I will try to demoralize uh, before I do anything else. Uh, I will also roll a d20 to see if I can even get this to happen. Because, <laughs> you know, concealed. Um, so let's roll a d20! Yes, I you can! Yes. I can do it! And you succeed uh, your intimidation. You, you, you demoralize. You did it! Uh, as he starts bellowing out uh, from his uh, mighty lungs, he will uh, strike at this guy with... Uh, uh, I will spend one action tearing myself out from the ground. And with that, my flurry of blows is literally just heart ripping his arms out from beneath the cobble street and just breaking them up. Um, <laughs> uh, so due to flurry of blows... Two strikes. Uh, both of them will have to hit through concealment, but still. Um, we believe. We believe. Let's see. That's a seven on the roll. That's a miss. Uh, I think this is this And then the second attack. Also that's a two. A miss. Too bad. I have but, one hero oh. point, but I don't know if you're going to spend it on this one. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Uh, but he rips himself free and is just bellowing out into the darkness. Well, you ever just scream into the dark? Yeah. All the <laughs> time. Wow. Every time. Time. All so right. relatable. <laughs> now it is one of the other individuals' turn. This guy is seemingly to be bleeding and everything else, but you'll hear him yell, like, we gotta warn the others! Send help! And you'll see that he will... He's like, I'm trying to hold this one off! And he'll come up to you, Talim. With a hatchet in hand and try to strike you. <laughs> Missing barely because you have your shield up. I gave you your plus two AC. He'll try to, he'll try to swing again. Wham! On the backswing, still blocking it. Just clink, clink, clink right on your shield as you're able to block expertly. Gray, it's your turn. Gray is heading towards the the bridge because uh, Tulium's got this. He's fine. He's got this. Uh, Hart very much does not have this. Died. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so she makes it this way. Uh, going to declare this lad my target now. 
because uh no, you do not touch my child. That is my boy. <laughs> that is my boy. She's going yes. to strike with the crossbow. Hey, I mean, you have low light vision, right? Yes. Yeah, um, she, but she's not close enough. Yes. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Not close enough to benefit from that light right now. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna get him with the crossbow though. We're gonna take. Oh him yeah, out. we we're believe. Gonna, we we're believe. Gonna bonk him. We're gonna bonk him, and by that I mean. <laughs> Fingies crossed. Let's see. I'll, roll I'll for roll a twenty-one D20. total. Yeah, go ahead and roll a d twenty for me. I'll let you do it. Yeah. Okay. There's a flat d twenty. Because we have to see you. if you uh, get through concealment. Can I even do this? Unfortunately oh, not. No! The is fine. That would have been a hit otherwise. You I do have, have a hero point. point. I have a hero point. You do? I do. I'm going to roll yeah, that. Just roll, that just roll another d20. Yeah, I'm just going to roll it again. Please. Please, God. Please. <laughs> it is. A six. No. You hit. Yes. Yes, let's go. You just got to roll above a four. Okay. Okay. I'm going to roll for that All damage. Right. Okay. And that, that's a five. And then yeah. for the precision, yeah, one d eight. Uh, we're gonna roll. Okay, so a total of twelve. Bam! Bam! So much damage! Just, ah, ah. You just hear the guy just grimace in pain. And I think that's the. You're gonna reload. And I think actually you. Moved I think up I can't shot. reload. Yeah, I can't okay, reload. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm done. It is now his turn. He looks at you, Hart, and says like. Stop, Arthur. <gasps> and he bolts. He runs out oh. of here. Oh. He is now gone. He's now out of this fight. Yeah. See, Shad, that... you, do you don't need to be a good fighter to defeat someone in battle. You just need to be fucking scary. <laughs> and have two friends who shoot at, who shoot at them with popcorn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> shoot at them. Kaleem, it's your turn. Yes. All right. So, I am going to... First off, I'm going to target this guy that's right in front of me. Uh, hold on, wait. There we go. Target him. And I am actually going to do a spell strike uh, utilizing Gouging Claw. And that's one of my abilities as a magus. And I combine a spell and a melee attack into a single two-action uh, two strike uh, by rolling a single attack roll and then applying both effects if I hit. So I'm going to attack him normally with my plus eight for a total of 20. That'll hit. And then I do my damage, which is 1d6 plus 3 for a total of 9 because I rolled a straight 6. And then mm -hmm. I apply the damage of Couching Claw, which is an additional 11 points of slashing damage. Tell me how you kill him. So Talim whips his sword back, brings it forward, condenses it into its regular sword shape, and he drives it through the man's, uh, he drives the incorporeal blade through the man's chest. Um, and it doesn't leave a blood stain or anything, uh, but it, you know, it pierces him through the heart and he leans in really close and he says, a fool in his life is quickly parted. And then he pushes him off with his shield. Oh. Save that for a cool fight. <laughs> <laughs> and then that. afterwards, he will, uh, I will spend my last action to enter into Arcane Cascade. Oh, yeah, dude, stances. Yeah. <laughs> you go into your stance. Battle is currently over. Oh, you guys oh, are free to. <laughs> you guys are free to look around. Oh, no. I hope the blacksmith is okay. What was all that about? I'm gonna go check on Hart. Oh, yeah, get him out of the hole. Uh, Hart turns around in the middle of the moonlight just as this massive being, and he goes, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> You've got uh, a, don't, don't a step bit there. of a... <laughs> he, he points down at the hole in the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah th thanks. Uh, is your arm okay? Uh, you okay? 
Yeah, he points, he looks down at it. There's a literal gouge within it and black liquid is just pooling out. Yeah, it's fine. Ugh. Okay, well, let's, if that's the case, then let's make sure the blacksmith is okay and then I'll, I'll touch, uh, I'll touch, uh, I'll touch you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. what was that about? Does anyone know? I don't. I know. I saw the guy on the roof. I was like, hey, like maybe he's, he lives here and he just shot me, shot me. I saw that. It was bad. It was yeah. bad. But Talim he's very floats across the bridge and he's like, I distinctly remember hearing something about them saying no witnesses. Oh, and warning others. Could there be more of them? As you're, around, as you're standing, standing around, you're all past the bridge at this point. Everyone roll me a perception check. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I love perception checks. Perception checks. I'm so cramp out of them. But I'm not crying. today! <laughs> uh, 15! I rolled 13. A, I rolled a 10 for a total of 16. I rolled a total of 21. Nice. Conveniently, all of you, Gray, you're not quite paying attention, but you also notice... Uh, most of it, really. Blame you get to pick out a little bit more details of the scene. To the north of you, if you you can adjust yourselves, if you, um, mm. the north of you, you see bodies all on the ground, and mm -hmm. to me, but you can gather from looking around. You see broken weapons and people of all sorts. You see a man over to the right side on by the stone wall of the building, uh, basically blood splattered against the wall and blood pulling at the bottom and you even see that there is a man who's just recently they all seem recently deceased as if a battle was here not too long ago before you guys arrived along with uh evidence of struggle and battle and a bunch of debris around um but you can surmise just from the glance with your role that there was a battle here and the people dead here are similar to the people you just fought. Uh, Beetle goes over to the ledge and throws up. Talim <laughs> <laughs> uh, will uh, hover up next to Hart and be uh, and like look around, and he's like, "There are probably going to be survivors in this area, considering the casualties that these folks took." Oh yeah, perhaps. Uh, uh, I will go look for them. Why don't yeah, you dude. put that chest to good use and collect any salvageable items? Who I can are do these that. people? Uh, Hart has a extremely inhuman look in his eyes at, at this point of all the carnage, and he's like, yeah, so what? And he just starts picking up the things that Talim told him to start picking up. Talim will like float by and like uh, he like mo uh, what is it like mock uh, pats uh, hard on the back and he's he goes like can't actually touch it but he's like good man. <laughs> uh, Beta would like to make use of the wreckage that's around the area uh, to make a step stool of sorts and and start looking in through building windows if he can. Uh, as you. That's kind of roll me a perception check, Beetle. Yeah. You, but just make like a temporary little, little step stool of things. Yeah. Uh, with your, <laughs> with your eighteen. That's an eighteen. Correctly. <laughs> I like how Chad is just like, wow, stone cold. He's dead <laughs> and a capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they get a better idea. You're looking at the buildings, kind of like on the top left here, and like yes. that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, as you look, he would look if he could find a window, he'd look inside. I'm trying to tap. I'm trying to tap. Yeah, you're, you're looking around that one. Yeah, yeah you just hold down one. the mouse button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as you're looking around inside them with your perception check, they're all abandoned buildings. They're all disheveled, like foreclosed, like just just debris inside. Like they, you see, they're collapsing inside. Yeah. Um, you see chains that are kind of burst through some of the windows or latched onto or wrapped around and stuff on like the, the stronger parts of the buildings. Yeah. Uh, like the beams that are still good. Um, 
there's nothing quite there, but if you circle around, you'll find the door to the inside of, uh, of the blacksmith's house. Oh, oh. Ray is going to try and listen around to see if there's any other gray, like, stragglers that from, like, behind when people were basically trying to kill us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll me a perception check as you're looking around. Um, and just to make sure I know it's a natural one. <laughs> it's a, oh, great! It's oh, a the complication! Oh my, oh my, oh my! <laughs> I can't believe Gray had some of that tea left in her flask. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I'll do something! I'll do something in this scene. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's. Uh, unfortunately, for like perception, no one quite made a thing. I'm trying to go in through it real quick. Da -da 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 -da. Boo. Yeah. Make more skill based ones. Yeah, th there are some, but they wouldn't quite fit in here. Let me see. Uh,. Oh, and some were too making... specific. One of them did a crawl Danimus, in which if we're not around crawl Danimus anymore, it doesn't work. <laughs> you know, gotta <laughs> stop being specific. Be general. Hey, um, Zorin, if people want to make complications for certain skills, <laughs> where would they submit them at? They would go to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration, and on the $5 tier, you can submit your own ideas of what happens on a natural one. Wow. Yeah, what you can deal. mess up the players. What a great deal! I love causing pain to other people, <laughs> including myself. <laughs> wow! For, for five dollars, you can submit such classics like "I am seeing my dead parents." <laughs> oh my God. No! Oh my God! <laughs> it's just a lemon and a mustache. All right, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna adapt. I'm gonna adapt one of our patrons' things. So sorry if it wasn't the intended effect for that patron. Um, I'm going to take one from Agent John, Ooh, 777, thank you, Agent John. whose complication is Screaming Beetle. What? <laughs> beetle does that a lot, we're gonna, yes! We're going we're to make an adjustment of this one a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's not actually our beetle. It is you feel a slight shift or brief break in reality take place while no one else notices it. And yet your attention is drawn to a nearby surface. You see a large beetle crawl out of a hidden space into view with its back face toward back face or with its back facing towards you. And the back is a face with its eyes closed once it goes out of sight. For example, going around the back of the leg of a player. It cannot be found no matter how much it is searched for. Uh-huh. We're gonna change this a little bit. Oh, no. It is that, but you know the um the talisman that you guys picked up, you're seeing it in different places. Like you'll see it just attached behind Hart's leg. You'll see it oh. uh, behind Talim's head. <laughs> you'll look at a body and oh. turn their face and for a flash, whoosh, it's just, it feels a mass with a glaring red ruby staring back at you, Gray. It'll oh. do that for like a, a, a little bit and it will give you, sorry to punish you this way. It will give you the yeah. frightened conditioned until oh. otherwise I say it goes. Gray is now incredibly jumpy. She's looking around a bit paranoid. I, I can't believe that a Nat 1 gave us one of the coolest world building features. Grandma. Thank you for your uh, complication there. So we had it just there. But I can't believe Gray has dementia. No, don't say that. <laughs> As you all are. As you all are here, Gray, as you are going, <laughs> you do hear something. I want everyone here to roll me a perception check on it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I rolled a seven. All right. I rolled a 16 for a total of a 21. I rolled a 19 for a total of 25. I rolled 11. All right. So Gray ain't seeing anything right now. I'm very perceiving, apparently, now. I just had to, hard, had, had to get to my lean. dream going. You guys are in the best per, best position for it. In Beetle, you will later, later see this. You see, see an individual. An individual holding 
a bundle of scrolls, but it's also kind of swinging something smoky left and right. And you see someone holding an axe standing right by them. You see that you art. Is that Brug? You, see, you notice that Brug is here. Brug! Hey, Brug! Brug! And you also notice that there another individual. Can't quite tell. Leave's brother? Exactly who it is. <laughs> <laughs> See the person is carrying is is a little carrying the smoking implement as if it's kind of, and you hear like a small drone of, you know, and you see the scrolls around him kind of, uh, Talim in heart. You'll kind of notice the scrolls. There'll be arcing scriptures on that will blow a bit and, whew, and disappear ever so often, hmm. very faint. Knowledge arcana. Go ahead. All right. Hmm. Click on that, and then I click on this. I have a plus eight to my roll, and I roll a 10 for a total of 18. With your roll of an 18, you can tell that it's a bunch of spell scrolls. Oh. And you'll see uh, both of them come up. And Brug, who has a very serious look on his face, kind of you see that he'll pop up in realization after he sees but sees you all and he'll he'll kind of like <gasps> they look over to uh to the uh, humanoid who's by him who for description is covered in robes and has like this kind of gritted face mask over its eyes and you'll see that that creature will look over at brug and go this is doing is brug will, will shake his head like but, but they're good people. They're, they're, they're good people. It's like, and you'll see a finger curl out and being the point at Brug and tap him on the, uh, and tap him on the chest. And you'll see that, um, the creature will unfurl a scroll and everyone needs to roll for initiative. <laughs> but that's Brug. He's a good dad. We can knock him out. We can knock him out. I'm really knock good at knocking out. people out. Knock him out. Sorry. What do you mean? It's just, it's just, don't you dare threaten her. It's just, fine. It's, uh, and you'll see that he'll kind of regrettably take a giant ax. Bro will bring forth an ax as y'all are getting ready. And he'll look at you all and he'll just say, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm sorry. What? There, there has uh, to be something. We have. We. Did you do this? So for that, they have to roll. Huh? Yeah. Brog will roll. <laughs> and the creature roll. All right, Brug got a 14, and the individual got an 18. Oh. That thing's being awfully weird right now. All Let's right, go. battle has started. Beetle, it's your turn. <laughs> it's hearing droning, and you see they're just poking and Brug's nose. I've seen soon this. Ah. It's some drony language. Something weird's going on here. Uh, focus the guy with the paper. We can, we can knock Brug out. And then he, Beetle will reach around. He'll notice that he only has three crossbow bolts left. And he'll kind of pale a little bit, but he'll draw one. And he's going to devise stratagem. A special mumble boy. You feel Ooh! that you get a solid head if you shot? Yeah. I'm gonna take that <laughs> shot. That is Ooh. 12 points of damage. Oh. 
And then, uh, okay, so, loaded crossbow, fire crossbow. Do I have one more? I take uh, cover you are right here. good. I want to take cover right here by this, uh, this cart. I'm going to see if, I want to see if this works. One second. No, it doesn't do that. Whoop. You shoot your crossbow at the robed figure and you see it, it'll go skin, it'll get him in the shoulder but he'll just kind of right himself a little bit and begin to mumble faster uh, 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 okay you notice well, that the probably didn't do as much damage as you'd like oh uh, okay well, Beetle takes his cover, and that's it for his turn. All right, just to make sure, first turn, shook, you shot him. Yeah. Second turn, you move, or second action, you move, and then last action, you want to spin, you want to definitely take cover? Yes. Okay, so you got plus two AC now for taking cover behind some debris. Talim. Uh, Talim will, like, drift out from behind um, Heart. And he'll narrow his eyes, and he'll look at Brug, and he'll look at the um, the uh, creature that's covered in magical scrolls, and uh, he'll look at Hardy and be like, "Incapacitate Brug. I will deal with his friend." And, um, Wizard battle. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I will take my first action to move up here. I will take my second action to recharge my spell strike, and I will take my last action to raise my shield. And uh, Talim will peek over it as uh, as an arcane energy cracks across the shield, and he said, and he's uh, he looks at the creature and says, "Let's see whose magic prevails in the end." Harry Potter and Voldemort. <laughs> 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 And that will be the end of my turn because that is all of my actions. Awesome. Oh, wait, I'm preparing a devious, devious thing. No! Don't say devious twice! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> and Zoran no, stabbed us all in the, in the back of the head from 50 feet away. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. And you see that oh he begins oh. to chant more. Oh my and god, more. it's Uncle! <laughs> and you see <laughs> that there Jackie will be. You see uh, a scrawl as he unfurls. He goes, and you'll see that it'll disappear and, and like just magical fire will burn the scroll. And you will see, Talim, that something begins to show up oh. behind you. <laughs> Oh no, 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 oh no, 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 You will see that something begins to show up behind. Magic begins to twirl and a magic circle shows up behind you. And an evil thing shows up. Something of rotting skin and sharp teeth shows up. It looks at you to me, <laughs> I read it there. You'll see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. Amazing. This <laughs> undead looking abomination. Yeah. Will try to bite you. Oh. Oh. oh no! 20. <laughs> Don't have funny, happy music when you crit, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! 
questions are yes, do i still yes. uh, would i still have arcane uh cascade up or is it i will put... i will allow it i'll allow it <gasps> you We're gonna you die. generous generous man it's time for shield blocking <laughs> <laughs> all right I'm shield block roll the crit damage it does 12 points of damage to you Woofers. crunch <laughs> But also, there's uh, there's some things I need you to roll. Or be to leave. What if we ran away from okay. this? Okay. <laughs> All right. So first off, uh, let's see. Um, so here, I need to read up more in ghosts. Right? Yeah. Because there's some technications. I will. I will say due to the. I'll say for now that it'll go into effect. Someone in the comments below, tell me if, if this shouldn't happen before. If you know how ghouls it a... work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's it's disease paralysis. or poison, I have a plus one versus it. Yeah, so you you might you might want that. But for now, uh, you will try to paralyze you with this bite. I have to say that detail just just for details and bits. I need yeah. you to make me a fortitude save, please. Okay, and a fortitude save. And then I'm actually going to add plus one to it for my basic undead benefits. Mm. So a total of plus nine to this roll. Right. And I roll a eight for a total of 17. Yeah. I don't think that the benefit would go for this one, but I'll allow it because I, I need to triple check of the rolling stuff, but I'll allow it in this one. So you're not affected by that effect, but you need to make me one more for a tooth save. Okay. Is this one these are poison uh, this one you do uh uh you do want to put your plus one okay and you're just fine you're not affected by its bite <gasps> nice. <gasps> the ceases are so fucking scary in pathfinder 2e and then i'll try to claw you for its final action <laughs> it does not hit your shell is able to block it away. Heart. It's now your turn. Uh, yeah. So um, <clears throat> I wish to enter my uh, my mountain stance uh, to obtain more AC, um, and I want to cover my fear with uh, humor. Um, <laughs> uh, heart's skin um, cracks a little bit. Around the wounds he has already gotten, a small ship of clay is just shot out from him uh, as he he spots this creature behind Talim and that it appears. But he sees that Talim is capable of um, at least somewhat taking this creature. He's not getting dunked on by it. Um, and he... He goes for the thing that he was requested to do. He will slide over to Brug, stare at him, and go, no hard feelings. None taken. And, <laughs> and uh, I want to double, uh, I want to flare or blows him. All right, let's uh, see it. My first attack. Good hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's a hit. By the way, non-lethal damage. Yeah. Uh, Put it out. Put it out. Uh, that's 11 for the first attack. Go ahead, and uh, <laughs> and uh, then a 16. I wish to re-roll that because I am greedy. Um, Let's spend a hero point. Uh, straight up. Uh, let's go. That's the same number! <laughs> How many me? times have this freaking happened? <laughs> Too many. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Hart uh, walks up and he he slams his lower arm down onto Brug, uh, onto his like neck and shoulder area. Uh, but Brug is a tough dude, uh, so Hart like, gives him a nod of... I'm doing it. I will punch you if you keep on going. 
Brog will. Is it, is it the end of your turn or? That's the end of my turn. That's three actions. Just uh, if you allow me this little little narrative bit, Brog will grab your arm and just pull it up. And you see that he glares at you and just twirls his axe a little bit and whoosh, just brings it right up to your side. Of course. Do it. Just wow, the axe comes straight in. He misses, but I have a villain point. You're straight up to. I will use a villain point. <laughs> I don't like that. No. Froggy's Do turning it into a motorboat. Do it turn. Natural. Oh, <laughs> I rolled one on the D6 for it, but I got 16 points of damage. Nice. Oh, God. And he will look up at you and say, like, it's too deep. It's too deep of these problems, Hart. But I have to do it for her. And he'll try to swing again. He will miss thanks to Mountain Stance. And for his last one, he will try. He will try to demoralize you, Hart. Cool. He will go it's like, it's like, you don't know what they have. You don't know what stranglehold they have on us. My family. They all try to destroy it all. And of course, he will try to intimidate you. This is going to get no. to be against your will, DC. Uh, what it's is straight your up will? Is my will is plus eight that, that is your dc will be 18 you yes. are now frightened one yep that is I, I like i like that frightened in pathfinder second edition is more like stress than being actually fucking afraid <laughs> gray it is your turn after your turn your frightened condition will go away right so she is still frightened uh, because a lot just happened in a short period of time on top of her already having that like hallucination or whatever was going on. So she is just really just like uh, just strung up and she's just like, oh, whoa, she's freaking out. And suddenly this ghoul is now here. So she's like panicking and like loading her 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 crossbow. This is her her uh, target. The ghoul is her target, her haunted prey. Uh, and she is going to give it her best fucking shot. Natural Nat oh! Oh! No! Oh, I did Whoops. Whoops. Let yeah. me let me roll yeah, reroll that actually hit yeah. the Yeah, I hit the wrong one. So crit damage. Oh you rolled a one anyway. Are you kidding me? <laughs> roll, roll one D eight for me. Roll one D eight for me. God roll. dang it, okay. It also a one Oh my Genius. fucking god. Okay, so that's your crit damage is two, and then you did four wow. damage. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that somebody gave uh that somebody gave uh Gray a, a hero point to reroll that damage. Oh uh, you can't uh, nah. the damage. He has only oh. I mean, okay, it's fair, it makes sense. She right, hit, so, but not very well. <laughs> Alright, so I assume your turn's over. Yep, yep, yep. Reloading, right, that's it. <sighs> Are no longer frightened. Beetle. Yeah. It's your turn. So Beetle sees what a fuck off mess it is, and he's holding his two crossbow bolts in his hand, and he's gonna shout, Can we retreat to the blacksmith? I need more bolts! Does <laughs> <laughs> every. Hello? Everyone Can just looks at you. Yeah, <laughs> just everyone like, just stares. <laughs> everyone's just like, Bolts? <laughs> No one? No one's got no a one? thing? No one responds to Beetle? The, the hardest, has hardest, bits in not, har hardest bits in not having an axe driven into his chest. So Liam is in the middle of a, a Metal Gear moment. He's got a ghoul on one side, a spellcaster on the other. All right. Um, when no one responds like he's just, to... he's just like, make them count. Okay. So uh, Beetle's going to use his wand of heal on heart. 
Here's the wand of heal. Wee 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 Oh. Okay. Uh, because because of what we did, I know someone's gonna come in. You can't use the thing like that, and blah 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 blah. Um, we have a special one. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I kind of allowed them to kind of do it for now for the one thing, but uh, mm -hmm. let's just say let's go ahead and just click the healing button, and we'll say you you healed that much for now. Okay. Okay. Uh, you mm -hmm. healed Talim for two, right? No. Yeah. no. Oh no! Wait, it failed. For two. It? I'm, I'm, I'm allowing it to go through. It, it's bonds are weird. Uh, we'll fix it in a later thing. Okay, we'll just say okay. I'm, I'm game mastering this one. I understand someone that's uh, like, that's not how you do it. Okay, but for wands, you. like there's trick magic item feet and all this other stuff. I, we're just oh. we simplify yeah, yeah, yeah. for this group. Uh, we'll, we'll get it right it, in the future. Yeah. Just right now. This I know chat and people want the rules. We'll we'll question that. Just just let people know. Uh, it's also that we are an item using team, so. Yeah. Yeah, make a uh, we're dark fantasy anyway. adventurers. Yeah, yeah. The only the only attack the only heal that you have that can heal hard from that distance is the two action one. Yeah, so it'll be um, it'll be it'll be one d eight. Uh, it'll be eight plus that basically. So yes. eight, eight plus two. So you're healing hard, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. Plus eight. Ah, uh, healed hard for ten. And Next. then Beetle is going to run for the blacksmiths. Okay, you're gonna start running away. Try to see if there's yeah. any bolts. Yeah. I he tried to get everyone's attention and everyone ignored him. So. Salim. <laughs> yes. You're in a rock and a ghoul place. How's it going? I am, but uh, Talim will appear over his shield where he was facing the the ghoul. He'll lock eyes with uh with Gray. And he'll be like, do you have my back? She nods. Yes, always. And he'll extend his whip sword out, uh, turn around, and he will spell strike the uh, the scroll caster. With, All uh, right. With, uh, nice. God, what I'm looking for. Um, spell striking. He will use, shh, uh, wait, hold on. Let me check real quick. Um, Actually, no, uh, he will use acid arrow his newest level two spell with his spell strike so he whips his sword back shoots the blade forward as it extends and uh becomes slick with acid as it streaks towards the uh the scroll guy all right let's see it go ahead and right. do your melee strike with your spell strike let's see how it goes i will target him and i will strike with a Plus eight, and I roll a <laughs> sixteen. That's a hit. Twenty-four. That's a hit. And then I will roll the damage for the sword itself, which is going to be rolled a two. That's six, and then for the acid arrow, it is big damage. I roll a total of ten acid damage. And plus one damage for being in Arcane's uh, Cascade. Uh, nice. Slashing. Uh, they also take 1d6 persistent acid damage. Yes. Yeah, Wait, see, did, uh, how does he persisted? Yeah. That gets applied to him. He goes, yeah. And he gets... He's very angry as his robes begin to melt and burn. Yeah, and I will raise my shield as my final action. It's now his turn. And you will see that he will mumble, And then you will see you will see him rush over to the side. Take out, you'll see his finger extend and snap. You know, like that kind of anime, you like snap and it's like echoed. Yeah. I can't believe he's Roy Mustang. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Damn it, Selch. As he God, casts no! final <laughs> sacrifice on his summon. <laughs> and as a giant explosion oh, comes no! forth, Basically, everything within 20 feet of that summon 
That summon explodes. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. That's a shame so that's that? magic. Yeah. <laughs> because Everyone. I shield block yeah. the explosion. You, uh, funny enough, you can't shield block a reflex save. <laughs> Unfortunately, so everyone in the circle except Beetle, Brong has to uh, make one, or Brog does. Everyone has a roaming reflex save except for Beetle. Yeah. Yep. I rolled a total of 29. Okay, good, good. Aline got a 13. I did. Heart. I don't, it doesn't want to freaking roll with the thing when I just press oh. reflex save. So I'm going to do it regularly. Try refreshing the page. Yeah. I'm going to do it regularly. Uh, I rolled an 8 for a total of 14. All right. Here's what happens. The damage that it rolls is 6d6. Mm hmm. So that's going to be a total of 23 my fire damage. My head is damage. in my fucking hand. Why <laughs> didn't you come to the blacksmiths? <laughs> Why couldn't you jump into me? Oh, God. Uh, Soren. Yes. I just want to point out a thing from what, uh, from what Cabal said. In addition, damage you take as a result of a spell or magical effect does not specify attacks. While you are in Arcane Cascade, can trigger your shield block reaction, even if the damage isn't physical. Let's read up on that. Let's read that real quick. Natural damage that is, Arcane Cascade. That is What's... specifically Sparkling Targe Magus. It's specifically okay. Cabal's subclass. Well, let's see here. You said it was in kind of the can shield black when you're guard case gain, your shield raise, your second stance bonus, you see your shield. Your shield also applies your saves um, against magical facts. I see. It basically hmm. would just give him a plus two uh, to his reflex save. Yes, and uh, magical effects can provoke uh, shield block, which they otherwise can't. Yeah, let's see. In addition, damage. Arcane Gascane can trigger your shield block reaction, even the damage isn't physical. When blocking damage in this way, increase your shield's hardness by amount equal to the extra damage Arcane Cascade. Eight, two, two. Nice. You will be able to block some damage. Unfortunately, you still, even with your bonus, you still fail the reflex save. Mm, that's cool. So, Kaleem. Yes. You will be taking... Uh, you'll be you'll be taking... Uh, yeah, six figure out the less map damage. Map. Yeah, six less damage. So let's do... Minus six what? on that. You take 17 points of damage total oh. for that. My shield shatters. That's cool. Yeah. That's Heart. cool. You take the full 23 points of damage. I actually take 10 to 2. I have fire resistance. Oh, right. You got like one. Well, just add plus one HP to you then. Yay. You have, you, have the, you have the fiery heart. Greg, because right. you succeeded your save, you're only going to take half of this. So you're only going to take 11 points of damage. Brog, unfortunately, also has... No! To no, no, you can't do that! No! Brog, no! Brog's in the blast zone. You can't do that. He has children. And he makes it. Oh, nice. He will only, yeah. he will only take Two. half. <laughs> From the explosion, you'll hear cackling. <laughs> and it is now Art's turn. Any uh, needs to make a recovery on the acid uh, and take damage yeah. from the acid stuff? Yeah, acid. Yeah. Recovery check. Funny. Let's see. Acid. That's just fine and no longer has it, but still takes the acid damage. Takes five damage from the acid. Heart, it's your no. go. I am no longer frightened because it's my turn. <laughs> uh, so that is nice. Uh, and then, uh, hello, Brug. 
Uh, I know that that just happened. Uh, so a heart is going to... Um... Hey, hey, Soren, I don't have a hero point, but can I... Can mm -hmm. I... Can can I make a slight narrative decoration? Oh no, I'll allow it. I'll allow you, someone if, if if two hero points are spent for your narrative decoration, pitch it first. Right. And I'll okay, allow okay, that. okay, 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 okay. I don't have any hero points. I know. I'm saying somebody else can. Ah, okay. Is my, there one person or on the other, or something like that? Uh, my own. My only thing that I want to do uh, when this happens is legit that um, when this explosion happens. Uh, and the heart feels fire on his body. Uh, and due to the fact that Brug got a good save and the positioning that heart is in, I, I just want to thematically make it so that heart like didn't move out of the way and just stood there in front of Brug and stared at him. Did you just Brom Hill right? scream? Yeah, are you saying he took the hit? What are you saying? I I I want to be a wall. I want to be a wall against the fire. That's all I want. You grommed it. Chat gave you a if hero that, point. I'll allow did that narrative Chat give me a hero point. Nice. That I'll that allow that. Spend, to spend that. Yeah. And I'll do it. And you will see that Brug is like. I, I imagine you're, you're like they're just being the mountain wall that's like shielding enough that allowed Brug to make his uh, save to take half damage. And I, I'm, I'm imagining the picture that you just see the fire and flames. And Brug is looking up at you. And, and Brug will nod. You see Brug just simply nod. In his head, he's just uh, like, why? Hart lowers his arms from his fighting stance uh, against Brug. And he looks over towards this cackling fucko in the corner. And he is going to move, uh, step, like stumbling forward, pieces of his clay skin falling off from him as it does, because he's almost dead. Um, and he's gonna just walk up to this guy. And he's gonna slowly reach out his hand towards this, this duder, this little creature before him. Uh, and I want to use, um, I want to grapple him. Okay. Counter check me. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Athletics check is against him. I saw that one. Yeah, uh, I rolled a seven for a total of 18. Does that break his fortitude save? That does. You have him nice. grappled. I have him grappled. Uh, mm, and then I just want to do one singular thing, Soren. Yes. Uh, I want to drag him. And I want to drag him here. Now for dragging, that's a whole. Ah, uh, that's true. I can forcefully yeah. move with him. Uh, that's about it. Uh, and that is what I want to do in that case. Even if uh, that is lowering half of my speed, I can still drag him. Uh, I can still move over here uh, and maintain my grab. Mm, let me let me right? check on grab for you. Right. That that's how grab. I can do that, right? Let me let me let me check. Once the da da da. Ever since duration's bonus day. Grapple. Good luck. Where's my that. movement reduced to fucking zero when I do this? Kind of grab da da da. You can also grapple to keep hold of your thing. Various restraints. You just you target is grabbed to the end of your turn unless you move or your target escapes. Ah, okay, okay. So unless I okay, so it breaks when I move. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, you can't you can't that, drag him and stuff. Nice. So then I just want to intimidate him. Awesome. You moved up. You yes. grappled. Go ahead and roll yeah. an intimidation check. How do you hey, intimidate? Here's my, 
Here's my demoralize. I fuck. Uh, I fucking snag him, and uh, heart is uh, entirely just charcoal burnt, and pieces of him are dripping off. And my o my only fluff for how he grabs this person is that he he puts his hand around this guy's like collarbone, and like just starts to pinch his fingers past his collarbone, and you can see nothing but pitch black and two eyes staring right down at this guy. And he just says a single word, and that is... Perish. I was expecting bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. You see nothing but a blank face. You all, you all see Brug just standing there looking at his axe. And he looks over at Hart. Yeah, my back is turned to him. And I trust raises, him. He raises his axe as it begins to walk. I trust him. I trust him. I trust him so fucking bad. He takes a swing. My head is in my hands. My head is in my hands. He takes a swing, Hart. Yeah. Whoosh. He rolls. And I'm going to villain point that. Because he missed his target. And he critically hits Hart. But yeah. he critically hits the robed individual. Yeah! Oh, sorry, I didn't click the crit damage button. Hold on, there's a crit damage button. <laughs> but 16 points. Oh, in the axe. It beds itself into the caster. And as it does so, Everything, everything stops for. <laughs> everything stops for a moment. And heart. <laughs> Everything's dark. You see something. As that axe collides, you see a flash. You see something glowing in front of you. A big red glow. I don't know what it is. I you realize, mumble. Do you realize that you're not alone, though? You look to the left and right of you. And you see your friends there. You see Beetle, you see Daleem, you see Gray. All with you. What would you like to mumble? I mumble utter, like, in a whisper. In a different tongue than that which that heart usually speaks. Father. What? Do you see the greatness that I have done? Find the crafter. Find him now. And that's where we're going to end it today. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I hope you all had a good time. <laughs> I'm I, I have been waiting to tank an AOE and watch my shield shatter since we started started i'm this was great this is a it's the coolest amazing, shit it was the best episode back we could have had <laughs> we're the good guys right <laughs> we are good guys. Yeah, yeah, totally. daddy sorry, sorry uh, daddy sorry sorry <laughs> oh my god we no time sorry that we went over time i try to get to a certain point no, no uh, bro it's it's okay
I hope you all had an amazing time. Chat, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'll need to go around the horn for the amazing players that bought you Rockin today, because without them, this wouldn't be an amaz the amazing adventure of what it is. Starting off to the left, Minerva. Hello, it's me. I am Minerva, a party demoness. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch, and uh, I'm all over the place. I played uh, Grey Crocus, the Null Ranger, and I, my mind is full of fuck. <laughs> my brain is soup. My brain is soup. My brain is soup. <laughs> the opportunity, capitalist Cabal. Hey, everybody. I am Cabal, your favorite fighting caffeinated cult leader. I am a variety streamer, horror streamer, artist, and a bit of a voice actor. And you can find me on twitch.tv slash Cabal. I play Talim Shabura, the spirit of capitalism himself, and Sparkling Targe. Ghost Mages. The next up, we have our resident little guy, Finder of Bolts, Froggy Lock. Oh, good time zone. <laughs> I'm Froggy Lock. I'm a, a professional artist and a variety streamer. I play Beetle, and you can find me on Twitch and Twitter under the handle Froggy Lock. Oh my god. And of course, last, we have. We have sun, maybe? What is that? We'll figure it out. The mountain yeah, we'll who figure blocks it out. the explosions. Friend of Brug, Salty the Job. The boy. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Salty Job. Uh, even though I play a he, him character, I am she, her. Uh, and you can find me over at Salty Job on both Twitch and TV. And uh, I play Hart, the guy who is currently uh, dying. And... Um, he he punches people. Haha, ha, that's all that monks do, right? And with that, thank you all. <laughs> thank you all so much. About that one. Thank you all so much for coming over and playing, everyone. You've all been absolutely wonderful. If you liked what we do here, want to keep these shows going, keep these shows alive. You can support us here on Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash narrative declaration or on our YouTube, youtube.com at narrative declaration or forward slash at narrative declaration. You can follow us on Twitter at narrative declare in our Patreon that where you can get, you can submit your own natural one complications for the players, or you can also uh, get some of our lore PDFs we're going to now be making. If you want to know, learn more about our grim, dark world of rock grain. And journey into the world of tying yourself because we also have free pdfs if you scroll down the twitch page or visit our website narrativedeclaration.com for our releases and get yourself your own free adventure if you're new to pathfinder second edition and with that everyone thank you all so very much for watching we will see you next week for rock grind and this show raccoons every other weekend we love you all so much We'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful Tomorrow. day! Yay! Thank you for supporting Everybody Zorin so and Narrative Declaration. Yeah, thank you so much for your support! Goodbye yeah. and farewell! Bye, everybody! We love you!